Poo. One. No. 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 Oh, we're on. No. Okay. Yeah. Sup, sup, sup. Cool. Hello. <laughs> Hiya. Evening, everybody. How uh, are we all spices. doing? How is everybody in chat? If you're in chat. Obviously, if you're not in chat, then you can answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> they could post it in Discord when they watch after. Yes, yeah. that's true. So actually, yes, if you're if you're watching this afterwards, let us know how you are doing. Um, now, has James uh, told us tell all us what we did on, wrong, or is it just James that you can hear this time? No, it's all it's everyone. <laughs> I checked. Yay. Is it working? Are you but sure? But Jacqueline, if you want to just scoot your chair down a smidge, like just whoop, a smidge. Just, whoop, Why a is smidge. my giant head? Oh, <gasps> I see my giant. Oh God, down it goes. There you go. No. Big the Irish big, head on you. The big, oh. the, yeah, the big old. Big little. I'm gonna go down again. Oh, that, what is it with my camera? My Good giant... Fenian heads already. Fenian heads. Yay! <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna also lean back uh, and bring this microphone forward lean a little back. bit just to get the uh, perspective here right. Um, D and D. That's what we're here to do. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> that's um, the one. God, oh, I knew yeah. we were doing this for something something yeah yeah something something yeah. uh welcome along everybody uh on this kind of overcast monday i don't know what it's yeah. like where everybody else is but it's kind of overcast and a bit a bit muggy here that's mm -hmm. pretty nice and uh if you were sitting down oh mossy brat's waking up from a nap and that's really what i want to be i just want to be going for a nap now that would be delicious mm. no you're not allowed work instead, instead work bitch do D &D. <laughs> uh if um yeah uh if you are in work if you are relaxing for the evening in front of the tv thank you for joining us it's great uh it's great to have you here this is rise of the forsaken we are d8 dungeon and uh, we are on chapter 16 grave secrets mm -hmm. and we will be doing a recap. We have rolled the the dice, uh, and uh, our recap will be done by Nolra. Uh, so. I bet you're all so delighted. Wow. Trilt. Bleed wow. trilt. My walk is too tight. Uh, wow. and, uh, before, before we do that, uh, just a quick mention of the wonderful accessories that you can get from the Rook and the Raven. Uh, so if you are a player or you are a DM and you're looking to keep a track of your campaign or your character's progress in that DM's game, then you should head over to the Rook and the Raven and pick wow. yourself up with some amazing... Level five! Level oh, five! Shut up. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why am I doing that to your other characters? Well, no, that wasn't you, that was Grace. Whoops. Uh, no, right. Sorry, is there? Sorry, Fiona, is there a bit there for death saves on it? Is the bit there for death saves? Because that'd no. be important. Hybrid exhaustion, for, yeah. For How's the exhaustion? Yeah. Exhaustion. exhaustion. Well, it's good. Mm. One level, one oh, level. You, you, yeah. you can track that as well in the journal, which is fantastic. I can. It's very yeah. handy. It's yeah, it's very handy. Um, Mm -hmm. If you want to pick up one of those wonderful journals, if you head over to the Rook and the Raven and you use the code D8 Dungeon, you will save yourself uh, 15% and a portion of the profits will go to us and help us make some awesome content. Yay. More shows, which is never a bad thing, hopefully. Um, Debatable. So, okay, so um, Kyle and uh, Umbra nope. are dead. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> wrong show, wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't anger him this early, Fiona, in the stream. Yeah, what are you doing, Fiona? God. I don't know. I'm a fool. Yeah, Fiona. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me. I love how everyone now starts to deflect my rage at Fiona. <laughs> it's better, always Jacob, it's better. Me. <laughs> okay, so before we before we pick up uh, the adventure where we left it off to figure out where we are and what's happening. Oh, good luck. <laughs> over, to, over to Fiona, whose character Nora took some very detailed notes from the last <laughs> session. <laughs> so detailed. Just let me get them. That's a blank page. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Crazy yeah. Girl. A crazy girl. <laughs> okay. Right. Whew. Okay. So last time there was a couple dragging us into cash on because Captain Farron told them to, or he's going to burn their house down because that's what he does. I was wrecked. I don't remember much of this. I was so tired because I mean, everyone else just faffed around and I killed two manticores. So I was just wrecked, tired. I also gained a level. 
which is cool. Everyone else is on level four. I'm on level five. Five. Five is one more than four. So that's what I'm at right now. Still exhausted, but I'm a level five. So we got into Cashlon and there was some weird person watching us. Everyone else didn't bother looking. I was the tired one. I saw that. No one seemed to care. So we went into the salt barrel and Ronan was there, who's Targle's contact. And she set us up real nice, but it was meant to be kind of hush hush. I fucked that up a little bit. I kind of announced the whole bar that we were there because Targle sent us there. And she sorted us out with a room and some food. And then I just went to sleep after I ate. So all this shit happened when I didn't, I wasn't awake, but lots of shit happened. Uh, Diara put, put her face on and went down to the bar with Reggie and flirted with uh, Marlon, who was the barkeep. And uh, Reggie got invited on a date, but then he lifted buckets of water up the stairs, real shit, and Marlon wasn't interested in it anymore. Uh, Mooney had a bath and got a lovely new dress from Ronan, which wasn't her colour, but she still looks dead cute in it. <laughs> uh, Umber got a bit kind of moody by the window and tried to talk to Dovta, who didn't want to talk to him. So that was a bit sad. And then he tried to put the sheets over me, but he wasn't able to lift them out from under my big, heavy, dead white body. So thanks. I froze to death. Thanks, brother. Um, <laughs> and then Ronan came and said, what are you guys up to? And we said, we have to get the book from the Harbour Master for Captain Farron. But we didn't really know why, because we only had to do it because Mooney was missing. And we thought he had Mooney, but now Mooney's here. So it's all a bit confusing. But maybe if we don't bring the book back, he might burn down Cove. And there's some nice people there. So... I don't know. We'll figure that out. Maybe this session. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> but then Diara tried to turn uh, Brassica back from being a wooden statue and that backfired and she's now seven. And we all got very upset about that. So we went to the Harbour Master and tried to swindle them. I just stood out in the rain because I was having none of it. And they tried to swindle them. It didn't work. But we found out that, let me just read my notes right now. <laughs> we found out that there was a ship called the Fangfish and Two, uh, there was a list of people that were dead from it when it came to shore and one of the people that was marked as dead was Farron so that that was fucked up but we don't know if that was actual Farron or if it was his da or what the fuck it was and then the fangfish docked again a while later and it sank but two people survived the sinking one of them was Farron who was apparently dead and this other guy called Crescent who was in the bar and he was a prick to Diara so I don't like him but maybe we'll get some info out of him. We'll see how that goes. So we got that. We didn't get the book. He wouldn't give us a book. He wouldn't even give us the page. He was very protective over his book. No. We got the info. And then we had to go to the lighthouse to Ella, who is the lighthouse keeper, because that's where uh, Tawar's shrine is. And apparently if we fucked Diara up there, up you go, off you go by your little kid self, you'll get better. And she went up and she saw Ma in a mirror and Ma made her better. So that's good. At least we don't have to deal with her whining anymore. I was still very moody lying in the grass. I wanted to lie <laughs> in the grass by myself. But then everyone came and lay in the grass and talked about the fucking clouds. So that was great fun. And then Umber was coming back from trying to get whiskey. And this little kid stopped him and told us that there's a friend waiting for us at the harbour. But we don't know if it's really a friend. Because apparently mm -hmm. there's someone there who has bounty sheets and we're all over them. Some red haired woman that we're not meant to know about. But I know while I'm doing the recap, but real me doesn't know. <laughs> so she's here for us. There could be a friend, there could be a foe, there could be a turncoat. We didn't find out who that was, but maybe we will now. I'm done now. <laughs> Yay. I love that you referred to Nolra as the real you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, please no. <laughs> Too close to home. Brilliant. Trivia. Don't make that face, Declan. <laughs> I know you a long time, Nolra. I mean, Fiona. <laughs> uh, okay, we we start uh, on the the path to the lighthouse, uh, almost kind of converging uh, in that forced narrative way. Uh, Diara uh, with Brassica uh, comes running down the steps. Uh, and kind of coming back up the path, uh, Umbra, having left the little gnome, like the little boy that came to tell him that it wasn't safe to come back to the tavern and that he was to bring them somewhere else because a friend was waiting for them, uh, has also come back up uh, without the whiskey. And immediately, Ella, despite all age, I mean, literally, she looks, she looks like... <sighs> 
she looks like withered bark. Uh, <laughs> like she just sits straight up and there is a cracking sound as like her joints, every joint and maybe a couple of bones uh, crack as she sits up. Oh, there he is. Come on. I don't have the whiskey, so. <laughs> oh, no. That's it. That's a no <laughs> on that one. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, it's just that your sister here, she's, her heart is as heavy. The whole life Which was one? just, oh, all of us, I think. <laughs> well, actually, you had to be fair, pick a sister. Oh, I just wanted to be left alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good luck. Good luck with that. We mm. can't go back to the, we can't go back to the inn slash tavern. So I hope y'all didn't leave anything there. Your I wet left clothes. You all left all of your my wet clothes. clothes there. All it's the clothes. only thing I had left of home. <laughs> Does um, you only, you only have one shoe on still? No, my shoes and my bag. So you're barefoot? Aye. Oh, in the grass. What an <laughs> image. And you're my feet the are a little cold. I was really hoping for some nice hot tea to warm up my wee, t- my wee toes. And I don't even have that. I just don't have whiskey. The tea was not on. That's not my responsibility. We can't go back anyway because it's not safe. But apparently, if we, but apparently, there's someone waiting for us down by the harbor. Who? Yeah, who? <laughs> can I? Well, uh, am I back yet? Yeah, you're you're kind of coming up towards the path. Oh, can Screaming. We see you? Holding Brassica out like this, wriggling. <gasps> oh, everything is all better now. Oh. <laughs> Minnie runs up, arms open for Brassica and Diara. Why didn't, she's he, why didn't you tell us he could talk? I told you he can talk. They can all talk. Uh, yeah, but like. I'm sorry, Diara. Who is this? <laughs> what are you. Brassica, it's me. It's. The name. It's a fake memory. Remember oh. you threw my shoes away. <laughs> no, that's a bit hazy. Um, oh, if only there was some sort of pastry or something to jog <laughs> my memory. Do, do you have any of that jam? I don't know what I have in my bag. I probably I don't have my jam anymore because Brassica uh, knocked it down. That's uh, not like something I would do, but okay. I, I must I trust you, for I have no memories of my own. I don't think I've got anything in my bag. Oh, uh, well, then. The is still there. I no. guess I'll just be a shell of my former self until I have... No, I should have something in my bag. Where is my notes? Is there any the rest of us here, Brassica's speech? No. no. It's just badger noises for us. Can Diara yeah, yeah. understand them? <laughs> and, yeah, Diara is talking away to him. Did is you... there anything in the garden? Is there like, does she have a fruit and veg patch? She, it, 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 there is a vegetable garden. Can I just dig my hand in and whatever comes up, I'm going to lamp it at him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, give, okay. Uh, you okay. <laughs> just commit uh, violence on this badger, please. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no, no, he wants food. He wants food. food. I'm going to give him food to shut him up. You, you grab, yeah, you grab a couple of uh, scallions. Like you literally just mm. reach them out. Uh, give me a, I mean, yeah, you throw them. Uh, roll a d20 and add your deck modifier. Uh, 20, unnatural. Okay. You pelt um, Brassica, Mooney, and Diara with a handful of scallions. What there. are you doing? Eat, eat, shut up, eat that. No, I'll have onion breath. Not you, him. Oh, did you guys know he could talk? I'm going to use a charge of my apple of the eye necklace and I'm going to cast good berry. I don't have any pastry at the minute, but I do got a handful of berries, so that'll okay. make you remember me. He's got spring onions, Minnie, he's fine. Does that go with good berries? I'm sure it does. I don't know if that's palpable. I ate and I'm in such a better mood now, so yeah. He'll I fine. are. Yeah, clearly are she you? ate a couple of those green onions. Uh, and uh, <laughs> he's just going to start nibbling away into the good berries. The, the <gasps> like he, sorry, I say nibbling away. He's, dull, he's full on doing a little piggy into a trough. He's like, oh. Oh, he's literally nuzzling into them. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's Beautiful. too many of those. You're not supposed Abs to eat that many. From like you a nutritional as many standpoint. As he was a wee wooden boy not too long ago. What do you think? Vitamin C deficient. He's Each of those is like a vitamin C deficient. I He's not vitamin C. Not Each of those is like a full day's worth of meal. Tell him I'm growing. It's puberty. He's going He's through puberty. puberty. Why are you talking, Diara? Oh, I can understand him. Oh, now. Geez, it's a support oh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not great so far. <laughs> Gross. Uh, Brassica just looks back over his shoulder, like it's because Mooney's like he's she's holding him, and he looks back up over at you, Diara. Well, we could go back to not talking if that's what you wish. No, just kidding. She rubs him on the head. Mm. She scratches him behind his ear. Don't <laughs> touch me. Yo, you little muffin. <laughs> so you're back to normal, the both of you. Well, yes. What happened up there? Anything exciting? I saw mom. Oh, do you see her too? Oh, and you can talk to Brassica now. You've got the gift. <laughs> yes, I am quite a gift. Thank you. Mm, I think she meant... Me, clearly. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw mom. There was these other people with her. I don't recognize them. One of them looked like she was on fire. Wow. The other one... I don't know. Did she I didn't seem you? like she wanted to be there. I, she seemed say? a wee bit sad when I saw her. She was in like a real lovely room with some guy, but I don't think she was very happy. Yeah, the same. The yeah. guy. What was guy? there a fiery woman with her? Was was there? I don't think there was. It was like an elf. Elven. You're man? asking me. Uh, was... No, there wasn't. It was just when you looked into that sliver of mirror. It was just. Uh, Alaria, uh, well, the woman who looks like Alaria and a gorgeous man, like an absolutely yeah. gorgeous man. He was a right stunner, that one. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure if we're related. <laughs> <laughs> we're known enough to uh, ascertain from a, a physical description, kind of, you know, whether these are religious figures or deities. Uh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> give me a yeah. Give me a religion check. Um, Fourteen. You're not certain about the hot guy, like that's because literally all all Mooney has said is just he, she was in a room with a very good looking man, but there was no there was and there, to be fair, Mooney also didn't get a lot of other visual clues. But Diara ranting and raving about a woman on fire. Uh, Irith is often depicted uh, as a woman constant, like, with an aura burning. Okay, so mom's out hanging with gods. Cool. Yeah, there was, like, an altar up at the lighthouse, and she kind of lowers her voice, remembering that they're not supposed to talk about the gods. <laughs> <laughs> That's cooler than this is. Should we go back up there and check it out? Seeing as how we can't go back in the town now or anything. We're supposed to go meet somebody. Oh, why? Should we do that now? I mean, who I are guess. Who are we meeting? What are you... What? Why is everybody so... <gasps> who knows? It, it could be anybody. There's loads of people here. But, <laughs> so we're not allowed to go back to the Salted Barrel, but we're allowed to go back into the town in general, I... Oh, let's go play with that harbor master again. I didn't actually establish the rules on where we can and cannot go, but I would say we should probably kind of be relatively. And then he looks around at his family, and the word "discreet" dies in his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> the old lady just waves at you as you look as you're surveying. Like literally, old old Ella just starts waving. Hmm. Money uh, waves back. I don't care what we do. She Should we wait till night time? I think we Brilliant. should go. We can kick anyone's arse that we meet yeah. anyway if they turn out to be bad. So. Yeah, we got to so well the last time. Oh, and they all disguise ourselves, maybe. <laughs> Many. I don't think so. <laughs> I can disguise myself, but it only lasts for an hour. And I'll just maybe. stay up here with Ella. You guys go. 
No, you have to come with us. Really? Yeah. The last time you got separated from us, you nearly died. So we're not going to let that happen again. And then mm. you leveled up, and I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> if you're asking me, uh, I think <laughs> the six of us should probably just skirt down along the Pebble Beach. Oh, there's a wee beach. Can we go to the beach? Good rocks on that beach. Does it got seagulls? <laughs> Generally, yes. There Does it got beach. gangs of roving seagulls just harassing people? <laughs> actually, no. We've actually established a bit of a local treaty. Ah. With the seagulls? Well, but amongst themselves. Right. Uh, we're, we're still working on the puffins, but... <laughs> oh, God. Good luck with the puffins. Oh, your bunch of diplomacy people. is not in their vocabulary. Hi, I've never spoken to a puffin before, but I've heard oh, things. Just, just, yeah, I just I've heard I shocking just, things. Never about ever give them direct eye contact. No, <laughs> they've got that side eye, don't they? Do? Oh, oh, that yes, literal I'm, side eye I'm, because they've got a lot of sharp, predators. A sharp eye on them. My God, big beak though. Well, that's just. All the more slurs that they can smell. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. Oh, well, should we go then? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. You have to I'm go sorry. see some seagulls. Well, oh, now hang on. Ella, are you. Are you. Uh, not to be rude. Old? I'm not sure where you fit into. No, not old. Um, are you. Um. Are you okay? Why are you having right. a stroke? Yeah, no, why, I... would, why, why would you come with us? And go for a walk. We might get attacked. Very that'll dangerous. Extremely like dangerous. Yeah, that'll be great. She's one of the gang now. Yeah. She and we need someone to show us where the beach is. Do you not need someone to guard your shrine? <laughs> she just kind of looks up at it. Maybe great. <laughs> Listen, we all uh, we all came together as a family in a weird way. Why can't we expand? Or sometimes not expand. Yeah, Pretty I'm, sure I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm, looking around, I'm looking around. I'm looking around at this dynamic here, and what you seem to be missing is a bit of the sex appeal. <laughs> and then she swivels her hips a little bit, and she tufts uh, a little poof of grey hair. Is that not sore yeah. on your hip? Oh, uh, I I can't feel anything. No, no. <laughs> Dead. Should we? Should we just? Should we go? You can come if you want. I mean, we could use use her as bait. Uh, yeah, she. she... <laughs> <laughs> that will get a tiny little laugh out of Laura. Man- <laughs> man- <laughs> she starts to kind of hovel off, and on hearing that, she's many a man has fallen lured to this trap. All right, and then she, yeah, she starts to head. Uh, kind of towards the lighthouse and then down a very kind of overgrown, uh, sharp decline uh, <laughs> down the side of the cliff. It's away from the town. But... I thought Brassica was supposed to be the bait. Brassica's not the bait, I'll beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> Brassica looks up with a face covered in good berry juice and is like, yeah. I like, what? Are you feeling better now? Why did you go turning in the wood for? Ah, uh, well. Why did you turn me into a baby? I... Ask him why he didn't eat the scallions. Why didn't he eat the scallions? Why did you turn <laughs> her into a baby? Uh, questions after. Que- I have literally just returned to myself. How did you get back like that? Oh, my <laughs> Was if it mine? Ask, if you ask, oh, that, okay, no. And he just folds his little badger arms. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. He's going to scratch him under the chin. And then he's going to put him in the little bag. Here you go. Oh, oh I've definitely lost a little. This, this bag is much roomier. And the, <laughs> it's because there's nothing in it. It's just my book and my book. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I need to go fill it up with things. But I do. Mm, mm, mm. There's He's... no pastries in there. There's always pastries and there's no pastries in it right now. 
he just does his little kind of walk in a circle around the bag a little bit uh, mm. and kind of give it a bit of a scratch. He wedges the boot into as far of a corner away from him as he possibly can. He's eyeing it suspiciously. Um, and he flops down. Is he sleeping? He's going to attempt to, yeah. Oh, baby. Okay, Should we go? Bye. I think he's all settled in. Ella right. disappeared down the edge of the cliff. <laughs> yeah, right. Reg- Reg- Regiment's not far behind her. Okay. It's like- and he's t- 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 after them. Everyone's following? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Nora will hang back at the back as per usual and just have a little emo moment staring out at the sea. Are you trying to be me? I'm just trying to be you, baby. <laughs> And she'll I look down. And... With an evil girl. <laughs> <laughs> and she just kind of like scrunches her hands in her face because she still feels wrecked tired. And she'll touch a hand up to her chest where she can feel uh, Targle's medallion under her shirt and just like look over where they're going and say, you better fucking be you, sweetheart. And walk after the other ones. 2028. <laughs> <laughs> That comes with an alarm function. (laughs) (laughs) Um, As you, like I said, it's a very sharp, steep climb down. It's a path. Um, It's very overgrown. um, But there are patches where you can see kind of uh, pale grey and black stone that is wet from the mist. And occasionally you just see Ella kind of lose her footing a little bit and kind of do that weird little kind of like, oh, kind of slip forward thing. <laughs> uh, but she catches herself. You're not sure what it is, but with all like very quick. Um, it then kind of this this path kind of cuts in under the cliff and she turns a corner and then kind of looks back to see uh, the procession of the five of you kind of coming down and just kind of yells at her. It's a bit slippy. Is it not an easier way down? Oh yeah, you can jump. Oh no! How far down that. is it? Oh, oh, and she just leans on over the side. High. Can we slide down? Mm-hmm. We could, but it hurt. Oh, I haven't tried that. Uh, you go first. Can I have a quick peek, and then how far is it? It's, gonna a, gauge. Sheer, it's a sheer drop of about. A hundred feet down the other side. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> it's kind of fake push, Nora. <laughs> Roll the fake push there with a slide of hand check. <laughs> um, if you kill me, Umbra. Sixteen. Uh, okay. Uh, that performance, uh, unfortunately, not enough. Uh, you actually real push her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Mooney, <gasps> what, is, what is your passive perception? Oh, my passive perception. Um, You're trying to beat it. It better just be higher than eight. Oh, yeah, this is 12. You catch, as you as you come around the corner, you just catch Brassicat with the boot. Kind of literally, he was about to chuck it over the side of the cliff. <laughs> and then he slinks straight back down into the bag. Oh. Then he's just going to... Just, just, just feel... She feels sad because she doesn't have her shoes. <laughs> but she's happy that she has her friend back. Um, the path and not her family. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're gone forever. The path continues like this for, for quite some time. And as you uh as you as you kind of round under the belly of, of the cliff, you can actually see that where that what the lighthouse is built on is actually largely undercut that the the sea is just smashing violently against the rocks below and it's like thunder in your ears at this stage and again you watch as ella kind of half steps around another corner and you as you kind of follow her you see again in the distance the the town of cashlan and the the port, the harbour, uh, and in the distance, the shipping yard, just a little bit further on. And at this point, you start to see Ella kind of hopping down 
steps that have been clearly cut into the rock. Is there, like, do we have to fall, follow the steps down or can we see, like, does the beach, like, carve around by the side of the steps? This is coming, like, the, these steps are leading you to the, the, the Pebble Beach just below it. You can see the, the beach that she was talking about. Okay, Nora is going to get down to, like, I don't know, 30 feet above and then just throw herself off the steps onto the beach below. Jesus Christ. Give me an analytics check. Um... Athletics. Ooh, dirty 20. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, while the rest of you continue the slow climb down, uh, Regiment, as you and Ella make it, oh, like you feel, you can, and then there's a the crunching of stone under your feet, and uh, you're all kind of, like the left-hand side of you is all, you're all kind of wet from the mist and the spray from the, the sea and stuff like that. But as your feet touch the stones, just a little bit over to your left, uh, there's a, a loud splash and crunch as Nulra throws herself from the the steps down onto the beach below. I'm just going to like... All, you all see her. Wade through and be picking up the good rocks and fucking them into the sea. Jesus Christ, Nulra. Like, I, I know that I beat you, but there's no need to be so dramatic. Like, it's just a pit set of stairs and you know I'm going to win. Ignored him. Ignore him. I'm not going to attempt that. I'm just going to go down the slow way. Um, as you, as you all kind of make your way down the the slow way, uh, Ella has kind of gathered Regiment, and she's also kind of given a look over to uh, Nora. Well. If you're looking to uh, avoid the town, well, this this look on this goes right under the harbour, and the tide is out for a little bit longer, so it should be all right. Yeah. Where's the uh, the mystery person? Why are you helping us? Uh, helping you what? Get to the harbour. And you, I went for a walk, and the five of you followed me. Mm -hmm. After breaking into her lighthouse. <laughs> well, yeah, there was that part of it, but. And if someone asks, if anyone followed you on your walk, I'll say yes, because it's not my walk. <laughs> <laughs> and people walk in it all the time. And if they ask specifically about us? Why would anybody ask me specifically if five Egypts followed me down the cliff? I don't know. People might take an interest. It's a fair question. <laughs> oh well. I'll give you I'll give you a bit of advice. A bit a bit of advice from an old lighthouse lady to well, whatever you are. Um, an ego is not that great. You know, you might want to, you know, there's other things in the world besides yourself. Maybe <laughs> ask a couple of questions, you know. So what's your whole deal? I am asking questions. Yeah, but not questions about us or me or why I'm a, a lighthouse keeper. <laughs> what's your favourite thing about owning a lighthouse? Oh, my. Is it just that you have a lot of bulbs or is it one big bulb? Oh, is it light? Is it fire? I is it a it lot like of a... fires or one big fire? It's just a big pit that I just put a lot of stuff in to burn. And that's actually very exciting. What's your yeah. favourite thing to burn? Stuff that's not mine. I bet oh. it's badgers. <laughs> no. Not badgers. <laughs> I've never actually burned a living creature. Oh. Usually just a bit of flotsam, a bit of gypsum. The occasion, the, to be fair, and I can't believe I'm admitting this, but I, I have pilfered a couple of things from around the town, but those people have really kind of just bothered me. Oh my goodness. <gasps> he bothered you? Oh, the, the blacksmith's wife is an absolute... Well, I'm amongst, <laughs> I'm amongst fine company and I won't be <laughs> low with my words, bitch. <gasps> <laughs> 
What's your opinion on the uh, that man he we tried to take the book from? I can't remember his name. The uh, Master. Randall. 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 What's your take on him? It's a bit. It's a bit fussy. Have you ever stolen? I don't, I don't usually like my men that him? fussy, but you know he he keeps himself clean, so you know. Have you ever stolen anything from him? Not really. He's only into books. Oh, because if you're there, they probably ask for shirts. some pointers. Oh, to rob him? Aye. Oh, well, you could all just beat him up and steal from him. I mean, we could and do there's that. There's five of you and there's one of him and the local militia are absolute idiots. You don't have, okay. like, a granddaughter out there wandering around. Also a oh. nun. Not really a nun. Uh. <laughs> No. <laughs> also a thief? I've yet to I've yet to allow the fruits of my loins to blossom. Oh. That's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> What's it a metaphor that is for? Babies. Uh -huh. Ah. Yeah. Can I be looking for a good rock? I don't I don't want yeah, like I want one of those ones that has like the stripes around it. Okay, give me a, a good one. Investigation check. Yeah, a real nice one, like a, a symmetrical one. That is a uh, 11. You find a really good flat stone. Like you don't find specifically one you were looking for, but you find a really nice flat stone that you could skim. Does it have a hole in it? Why would it have a hole in it? Because the ones with holes in it are cool. No, it doesn't, because <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing, and now it doesn't. <laughs> oh, but is it nice and smooth? Yes, it's lovely and smooth. Okay, I'll give it a skim. Roll to skim. <laughs> <laughs> Am I adding anything to my roll? Uh, athletics. Oh, oh, dirty 20 again. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no, right, you, you've been completely distant from the whole conversation. You've been distant from everybody. Um, and just scanning the beach for stones and rocks you've picked up a handful here and there and uh listening to umbra and diara question the old woman for whatever it's just it's going nowhere and they're wasting time but what does it matter anyway because you haven't a clue what you're doing or where you're going and you just see on the beach a perfect flat it's almost like a sheet um it's like a stone and when you go to pick it up, you see it's actually a little bit bigger than you thought it was. It was kind of half buried under some pebbles. And in one hand, you hold it and you grip it almost like a disc, um, like a plate even. And you curl your arm, take a deep breath, close your eyes, and you just throw it out. And when the the stone leaves your hand, you you hear it hit the water. And you find yourself back at the Red Orchard at a pond down by the back of the house and you've a handful of stones and Alaria approaches you she's come to talk to you about a pretty bad fight in the house um, and your temper but she doesn't say anything and she just picked up some stones and she okay. showed you how to skim any stone, that you can skim any stone with the right throw. And when you kind of come back to yourself, you remember what you did. It's like a muscle memory, and it's the same method that Valeria taught you and told you that whenever you were feeling angry to just come here and skip stones and get it out. And you watch as this piece stone skips across the waves it cuts through a low wave and it bounces and then you hear it shatter against some stones about 30 feet away she'll kind of just like do a ex little excited jump and instinctively we'll look over at regiment yeah but so then look back <laughs> how many how many Jumps did the stone do? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is what we're doing this session, everybody. 18. It did 18 jumps. Wow, go me. 
Uh, yeah, can he try? Uh, can he try beat them? <laughs> <laughs> he can just leave them here and like crack on <laughs> sure he can <laughs> so what was that investigation first was it yeah investigation first to find it yeah. <laughs> Reg will find someone with a hole in it <laughs> that's, a, that's a 14 okay you find a, um, yeah you find a, a decent stone to skim okay very good. Um, athletics, was it? Athletics then to, to chuck it. Another 14. Okay. So I'm going to roll a d20 <laughs> and I rolled a d10 for uh, Nora. I'm going to roll a d8 uh, for Regiment, just based on the stone and then the athletics check. Okay. All right. So you're looking to beat an 18. <clears throat> Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Was it a one? He, no, he got a nat twenty. Oh, <laughs> no. Only only a two on the on the D eight, so twenty-two in total. Okay. Skimming um, for days. She was healing. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, uh, you sidle up uh, to to Nullra Regiment, the stone in your hand. And you you, you saw you half saw the, the look she gave you. And this is this is the thing you've always done, and she's always done for you. Um, and just holding the holding the stone in your hand, you flick because it's all in the wrist, uh, and it just flies free from your hand. It bounces over the top of several waves, uh, and just where you saw and heard or heard where Nulra's stone hit a, a rocky outcropping, yours bounces over it uh, and continues on before it sinks. So you gotta, I don't, I don't want to derail us. I don't derail us any further, but if there is a clump of that seaweed that has the poppy bits in it, I want to take it up and just fuck it in his face and just walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> the sure. poppy bit specifically, that gross seaweed with the balls on it. Okay, okay. I can see you looking and I can see you're angry and um, Reg will just be like, What's going on with you, Nora? This is not you. I mean, I mean, the skimming, the shit skimming is you, but your attitude isn't you. <laughs> oh, Reg, well, I don't know. What happened to you? What happened out there? I fucked up is what happened. The one thing no. that mom said I was good at, I wasn't good at. And when did mom ever say you were good at him? Reginald, fuck off. I'm no, come you. on. No, no, no. Sorry. Listen, can you tell me? That that sounds rough. And I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. I'll be fine. No, no, no. Fine. Okay. Tell me what's going on. I'll be grand. Leave me alone. I'll be We've fine. always gotten through this shit together. Why are you pushing me away now? I'm not pushing you away. I'm just... I'm not good enough right now, Regiment, okay? Just just leave me be. Regiment's going to look around to see if anyone's in earshot. Kind of are. Like, you were all kind of... I mean, Nullra was a little bit away from the group, but, like, if you want to whisper it, yeah, you can whisper it. Yeah. So <laughs> you're going to reach my ear, though. <laughs> <laughs> He'll kind of just quietly say, you're always good enough for me. We're making sure that no one else can hear. <laughs> what, what was that? Sorry, I can't. Let's speak up. The, the, the waves are a little loud. Um, at that moment, there's a little whistle uh, coming from the edge of the beach, and Umbra, you see the little uh, sandy-haired uh, gnome boy that first told you will pass the message from Ronan. Uh, about not returning to the tavern, and he's he's come he's coming running. Okay, don't don't lay off with the rocks. Don't hit the boy with the rocks. No more no more senseless violence. Ella drops the stone. <laughs> <laughs> a 
it's just the youth. He's our little messenger boy. Someone, someone, be cool with him. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't. I'm not. I'm not cool. Oh, I got this one, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> right. Well, then I'm off. If that's <laughs> if that's it, then. Oh, no. go in, it's not a one for one situation. <laughs> We need them to interact. <laughs> no. No, you don't. <laughs> DMing myself is never fun. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Ella starts to kind of hobble back up the steps. Thank you, Ella. Bye, so, Ella. Love you, bye. I'll, I'll bring you some whiskey. Probably forget all of your faces by tomorrow. Never mind, then. <laughs> he like looks to the rest and he's like, we don't have whiskey money. I, I get the feeling whiskey is like, you know, expensive. I don't have any money. Like, I'm no. serious. There's nothing in my pockets. What are you, 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 what are you doing here? Who the hell is this kid? He's the, he's the messenger, I told you. Uh, I, I was waiting for like hours. What? Liar. It hasn't been hours. Well, facts and <laughs> stuff. It's. I, just, I thought you were going up to get the others and then I was just going to go and bring you. Oh. Oh, I did. I did get the others. I did forget the other part. I'm sorry. We've. Ha we... And you decided, you decided to come down the mermaid's navel, like tourists hey, well... die on that all the time. I jumped off it real high. It was stupid, <laughs> actually. It was cool. Um, it was actually no, cool. it was dumb. No, that that was. If you did do that, that was stupidly unsafe. Oh, no, she's real there, tired. Right? Strictly speaking, uh -huh. she would have been doing it at some sort of disadvantage or something, but who's counting? Um, <laughs> oh, let's <laughs> retcon that thing. <laughs> let's retcon oh, that thing. Oh, James, you fucker. I can oh, believe yeah. you. Well, um, just, just to encourage that kind of behavior in the future, James. <laughs> oh, go away. You stay away. Dangerous game. <laughs> you know die. I'll die on those cliffs. It's okay. You can have inspiration. Oh. There we go. Cancel. Oh. Okay, Eilish. DM second Sorry. In command. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of a bardic variety, right? Not like uh, the... No, her from her recap. Oh, that's uh, true. Yeah. I oh, thought you were giving James inspiration. No! <laughs> Why would I ever help James? <laughs> He's your brother. I think you're giving him inspiration for being a rat. <laughs> oh. He doesn't need That's it, true. So. I'll cancel off my inspiration then, if that satisfies the rat. Sure. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy just I'm, to have caused a slight commotion. I'm <laughs> equally as happy that you've burned the inspiration on that. So <clears throat> Nola is delighted with herself. That's all I'm saying. The little boy is just gonna <laughs> We're going, yeah? We're going. Yeah, we're going. We're going now. We were trying yeah. to be... Yeah, well, they're in the tavern. Who? At the harbour. They've gone into the tavern. Who? Who? The bad people. Who are the bad people? They were the people that Ronan said are looking for you. Yeah, oh, so we're, like supposed to, we're supposed to avoid them. Yeah, I so but all me. my clothes are there. <laughs> what do they look like? Well, uh, the lady was really, really mean, and there was a really loud man with her as well. He oh was... no, those are the ones that I buried alive. <laughs> you. The little boy kind of looks at Mooney at you, horrified. One more time. Yeah. Why oh, I buried them alive? And me and Tilly, you? where we were escaping, the chased after us, and then I kind of opened up the earth and it swallowed them home like a very hungry caterpillar. They were chasing you, though, yeah? Yeah. Fair. I got away, though. Yeah. Shame has helped. Oh. Mm. The last sold me like a curry. The little boy is just walking up the beach at this stage. He's not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, well, I'll just come after you then. Should we go back? Should we go back and help? 
Or do we Should keep we go going? Who are we, or... who are we meeting? A you... friend. I... I am eight. <laughs> yeah, but you're also Use the messenger. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Ronan said that your friend was at the shipyard, and I'm going to bring you to the shipyard, and then she's going to pay me. All right. Come on. Off you Let's go. go. Then, oh, buddy, you got to get paid up front for this sort of stuff. Yeah, you tick. Oh, that reward money is looking very fancy now. <laughs> what? Reward money? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your what name? You, what are you talking about? Wait, hold on, Manny. What reward money? They're looking for you. Who? The lady and the loud man. All of us? Well, he squints at you, oh. Nolan. Yeah, no, definitely you. I, I remember your ugly face. Oh. Uh, and yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, he's cool. Uh, yeah, he points at Umbra. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 all of you, all of you, all of you there. I, why are you looking for all of us? I go back and ask him. No, you haven't seen us. Mooney, hold on. They were Farron's men, yeah. I don't know who they are. It was just they broke into Tilly's hideout and they chased after us. They never really specified who they were, but but who the hell was... would know what we looked like? If we've been missing for 20 years. I mean, they probably are, because weren't they trying to kidnap me so they could hold me for ransom? That's why he's had to go get the book. Why the fuck is he sending his men after us? Maybe he knows that we didn't get the book. He gave us 72 hours. How long has it been? Not 72 hours. Close oh, to 36. You're about a day and a half into the, the mission. What the fuck is he playing at? I think he's changed his mind. I don't think he ever meant for us to find that book. I mean, his collateral is standing right here next to us, so that's not... Oh. Do I think we should just skip town? Yeah, let's go. I think we should go find out who this person is, though. I want to know. Maybe they want to join the uprising. Are we still going on about this uprising? Yeah. Let's just go. Let's go to the shipyard. Let's see who are... Who are... Our All right, kid, go. Show us. Okay. Please. And he he just, yeah, he he's walking, but he's doing that now. He's now, because you told me he has to be kind of quiet about it and stealthy about it, he's now, like, hunkering down low um, <laughs> in the middle of the beach. Like, he's not, <laughs> like, he's not undercover. He's not hiding behind it. He's just low. Um, and he brings you uh, along the stone beach. And... You end up coming towards the the pier, and you can see uh, the Harbour, Harbour Master Rendell's uh, office. Uh, you crouch, I have to crouch too, well, Mooney and Nulra probably do, under the low end of the pier here, uh, where it kind of starts to meet stone onto the wood and jettons out into the sea. You can see several ships docked uh, along it uh, and out further, and in the distance, the shipyard is getting kind of closer. And as we move kind of into late afternoon, early evening, you start to see that that grey mist that has kind of hung around all all day. And since you've got to Cashlon, it's easing up like it's not as heavy. And you can kind of see uh, kind of hidden behind kind of light grey clouds, the sun uh, shining and as you make your way up from the, the Pebble Beach uh, onto the edge of the shipyard again, the little boy, I'm sorry, Mooney, you didn't ask his name. Uh, it's just Oliver. Um, Oliver. He, he kind of looks uh, at the five of you, looks kind of back and forth across the street uh, and then runs across it into a very messy looking yard. Is the street busy? No. The, the the shipyard here is very, very quiet. You don't see anybody around. Does anyone else feel like this is a trap? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? We should Considering have kept the it. last time we fought in a town, we totally wrecked some guy's livelihood. Uh, this is probably <laughs> better, right? Yeah. Many very subtly casts mage armor. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Umbra will use the thing that gives him advantage on initiative vigilant blessing okay you um, yep 
Can we? No, 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 I'm not going to cast anything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Russian just walks right in there. Do you think we can send the little kid in first? He's gone in, has he not? He's gone, in. He's gone into the yard. Right. Can we send the kid in? If only you hadn't really said that, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> we send the child in. <laughs> Check for traps there, child. <laughs> Can we see screens. where the kids go? He's he's standing in uh he's standing in the yard, right? Uh, and when I say littered, it's there are there's the shelves of kind of smaller little boats uh, and a lot of lumber barrels and kind of workbenches and stuff like that. And the little boy is kind of looking around, and then he kind of gestures with his hand, um, and you see him dip down uh, between a very large stack of stacks of lumber. Oh, all right, fuck this. Nora's going to just like unsing her axe from her back and everyone's kind of hanging back. She's just going to go straight in there. Regman's going to scurry along beside her. <laughs> Lene behind Regman. Okay. Umbra yeah, there's not, there not moving. She's going to stay undercover. Oh, okay. sneaky sneak. And Umbra. Like uh, he'll head in behind with his longbow. You turn the corner behind the stacks and you see the little boy standing in front of uh, like a like a hut, like a, like a storehouse. Um, uh, kind of a, a large wooden redwood, uh, faded uh, redwood uh, timber door that he kind of shoves open slightly uh, and it groans uh, the metal wheels against the, the metal brace that it sits in uh, as he kind of pushes it. And he just gestures and he steps in. Everybody follows? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he moves in and Nora, you see slumped down against stacks of uh, cotton bags, you're not really quite sure, uh, but like just sacks of whatever, uh, laying against it, breathing very heavily. Targle <gasps> with a large wound on his side, um, and bandages around it. And as you step in, Ronan kind of steps around from the corner, uh, a very uh heavy looking hatchet in her hands oh, well it's a miracle i didn't take your heads off i barely saw oliver um get in and she gestures fuck uh nora would just run straight to targle and do her usual staring at people to try and heal them thing um and on that medicine note, check slap 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 okay yeah medicine <laughs> check i'm gonna dip for like two seconds a little boys room oh just gonna start eating my dinner then. I'm gonna okay. start finding the notes. Let's make up some canon. Okay. So I am going to say Ilaria was actually an alien the whole time. Yes, <laughs> obviously. Um, yeah, that tracks. We'll go for that. God, I'm going to say Regiment is also an alien. Yeah, he'd be down with that. God, what was the name of those two bounty hunters that were after? I don't know if they're bounty hunters, but they were after many. What were their names? I want to go with F, I think. I've lost I my think. notes. No, I'm a Frankie not. and Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that. Oh. oh my god, oh, look at Yuki. Yeah, Yuki. Yuki's Where just come in for it. Oh, kitty. Hey, <gasps> baby. The, best the, cat. the new DM. <laughs> cat. Oh, I bet you awesome, that um, Ella is uh, the town bike, I bet. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Fiona. Okay. I think so. Judge she here. <laughs> no, I'm not judging. Fair play to her. I think she brings people up to her lighthouse and has a great time around the fire. <laughs> You're talking about uh, I like getting the ride? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it to her. 
I need to teach you. <laughs> you do. I need you to teach me. Mm. Want her to ride? <laughs> Roll yeah. to ride. <laughs> what was the sex ed like in the Red Orchard, Declan? <laughs> Lacking, I'm sure. <laughs> Excruciatingly embarrassing. Oh, oh wonderful. Yeah, classic. yeah. There was a little children's book. Um, oh, uh, cute. Yeah, you all got it at the same time. Like, Illyria read it out. Um, were there diagrams? There was, no, there were little drawings, like cute little drawings. Like, weird, like, yeah. Thank God that's not the same as Manny's. <laughs> 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 That's my new spell book. Oh no. <laughs> Doubles up. Um, you, yeah, so Nora, you're gesturing for people to. I'm just running over Targle. Targle, what happened? What happened? <sighs> it was, it's, okay, it's great to see you all in, in one piece. And he kind of looks up at you, Nora. <sighs> Uh, Ronan looks at the looks around. I've kind of done the best I can. I, I've, I've, I've stopped most. Like, I've, I've stopped the bleeding, but we're going to need to change those bandages. Umbra, uh, Umbra, Umbra, can you? Okay. I'm. I'm going to go back to the tavern. Um, what happened? There's some people here who are looking for the five of you. And I've, well, let's just say there's an extended tab running at the moment to ensure that your faces and names were forgotten. Um, I have to go back now. I can't exactly not be at my place of work for too long. Otherwise they're going to get suspicious. Stay here. Keep an eye on Targle. I will send food and fresh bandages as soon as I can. Can you bring my clothes with you as well? <laughs> um, certainly. Yeah, I, I, I'll, yeah, I'll send. I'll send everything over. Are their names Vera and Murphy by any chance? Uh, no. Oh, that's good then. The probable is still underground. <laughs> I there okay okay um are you gonna be safe did you bring some pastries as well how many of them are there and also yeah I do it a pastry there's two and I will bring what I can okay just keep an eye on him and keep it down Targle where's Richter uh Targle is unconscious Oh, um, oh, okay. Diara is gonna kneel down beside him and cast healing word, <laughs> taking the wind out of Umbra's sails. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one more spell slot for out me. Of my way. <laughs> she uh, kind of owes him. <laughs> what's the healing word? Um, feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, bitch! No, <laughs> uh, it's just uh, rest. Um, Dyer, is he okay? Uh, let me see. Yes, he is eleven. <laughs> you, you kind of you kneel down beside Nolra and just. You hear her say the word rest, Nora. Um, you hear her speak the word like a like a like a loud whisper. And as the as the sounds are made uh in your throat and pass through your lips, you feel kind of the energy around you, um, Diara, just the world just kind of vibrates for a moment. There's a, a harmony in what you've said and what you need and what you want. And that magic washes over you and it comes to life. And then like an echo, it fades away as it washes over Targle. And you all see some of the cuts and the bruising on him uh, heal a little bit. 
and his eyes kind of open very, very weakly. Umber gives Dyara's uh, shoulder a little squeeze and like beams at her healing magic. Oh. I don't know how to do this as well as you. Right. Targo, what happened? I... <clears throat> and he, he kind of sits himself up a little bit. I'll help him so he doesn't burst open his wounds. <sighs> Richter and I, when we left Cove, well, you've we, we, you've met Ferrin. We don't. We were worried, and we watched the road. We waited. We we wanted to keep an eye for out for the five of you to make sure that you made it out of there alive. We we thought. We thought we covered our tracks. We thought we were fine. And we crashed into Tilly and her wolf. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> and she was being chased by two of Ferrin's men, and she was terrified. They, they got in a couple of lucky... They tuck Richter. They've taken Tilly. Where? Back to back to, to Ferrin. What happened to Seamus? I, d- I don't know, Money. I, who's Seamus? Seamus is the wolf. Right. Fuck this. Cove burns. You got your uprising, Mooney. We have to save Tilly and we have to find Seamus because he got hurt trying to save me. We won't let what happened to Richter's sister happen to him, okay, Targo? Thank you. I... I saw it Ronan out. Um, I... I prayed... The five of you made it here. Ferrin has to die. Gladly. Yeah, what... Any ideas to why the double cross, specifically? We got some, we got some theories. But we're wanted people now. What do you mean, double cross? Well, as far as we were concerned, we were here on an errand, and we were going to report back, and there was uh, uh, an an understanding, and now we're on wanted posters. What? Wanted posters aren't Ferrin's calling card. If he wants you, he finds you. And who's wanting us? No one else knows what we look like. Nobody knows we exist. He locks eyes with the family. One person does. Hey. Hot elf. Fucking hot elf. That bastard. Which one? The one from the mirror? (laughs) No. The prick that was in our in our village, Mooney. The one who acted all friendly and then turned on us. The Black Sun guy? Yeah. Whose That's name? Right. I can't remember. It was Hot Elf. I don't know. You know actually, it was Hot Elf. <laughs> he had this little friend called Barry. Why would he be after us? I mean, we killed his robot. It wasn't man. a robot to era. He's man. We're not supposed to be alive. Who asked for a guy called Aaron? Do you remember that? Mm. I think he was actually saying Farron. I actually don't have his name in my notes. I just have Hot Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Mathis. Mathis. 
What else? What else could be a name? Anyway, that doesn't... That doesn't matter right now. We have to get... We have to get Richter out. You have to get all of them out. Cove can't... I can't go on like that any longer. Well, then let's put an end to it. (laughs) That little devil is going to get her uprising. Hmm. You still looking Uh, for that bounty? You know, you can't hand us in without this, Targle. I'm going to just dangle his medallion in his face. (laughs) I'd say we're worth much more than she is. Well, if your papers cross my hand, then we'll talk. I... I need to rest. Is there anywhere, like, is he just lying on the ground? He's lying, like, he's made himself as comfortable as he can against these... It's a storehouse. There's nothing. I'll whip off my, uh, my cloak. And Uh-oh. throw it down on the. Mm, that's it all. Nothing else. Thanks. Not in front of my fucking family. <laughs> and throw it down on the ground and just like help him push over onto it. He he falls asleep. Like he, it comes to him very easily. Uh, his breathing is still laboured. Uh, as much dire as you've healed him, um, there is still, and it's. It's bad, the wound on his side. You, you can see even now, even after Ronan cleaned it and stuff like that, it, it's seeping. There is still a little bit of blood um, caught and staining the bandages. Um, but he, yeah, he, he f- falls unconscious, falls asleep. You're not quite sure, but he's out. And it's the five of you. Um, Oliver left with Ronan. What do we do? We need to find Seamus. If he um, didn't go immediately yeah. back to Cove, then he, maybe he went back to Tilly's hideout. And she's got a lot of stuff there. Maybe we could find something useful. I just, I still don't trust them. Just still, I just, uh, uh, Tilly and the wolf. No, they're good people. But they stole from Umbra. They, they stole. Stole. Literally, one of them isn't a person. And uh, I have never deemed the wolf trustworthy. So. They stole because they wanted to find resources to take back Cove. So you but reckon why, we why get... are they giving it back? All they've done is bribe you. Because I don't think they trust us either. Did they say that they'd give it back if Fern is gone? Well, kind of. Kind of hemmed and hawed about it. But I'll I, get it I, back. I, like, she wants the same things that we do. Okay. You can't steal your way into a revolution. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. I kind of think it depends who you're stealing from, to be honest. Well, <laughs> stealing from Umbra is not going to help her revolution. Well, kind of did. She met us. We all sort of want the same thing. She already met us. She had met us before we... I don't know. Look. Is this some kind of Stockholm syndrome? You (laughs) gotta stop. I genuinely do think that she's a good person. Like, she saved me. After she kidnapped you? Yeah. Because she thought I was, like, an enemy. Oh, well, we need to do something. We need to worry about the people that are here looking for us as well. Mm. We gotta find if they out. are from the Black Sun or whoever the hell they were. Aye, Mathis. We can't move Targo. He's not no, safe. We here. stay here. We can we can lie low here. We can we can take take turns keeping watch and stuff. That's fine. I think Ronan wants us to stay here anyway. Yeah, if if we leave and she comes back, she'll lose her mind. Yeah, let's just stay here then. And she'll throw herself down on the floor. We gotta find out whether it's just Targle that we gotta take care of, or whether 
you know, if he goes, does the whole thing fall over or, you know, is, but, is he got people waiting in the wings to take his place or, you know, does everyone He's just not going to go, up? Umbra. I meant go. I meant go. Farron? I meant go shuffle off this mortal coil. Well, then we just get rid of all of them. Anyone that stands up for him goes too. You don't... It's as simple as that. Nothing else works with him. That's what we've been told. He fights steel with steel, Umbra, and that's what has to be done. A lot we of can't keep people... throwing ourselves into just potentially fatal situations. Well, that's the way the world works. Good thing our mom's the goddess of death. I do think we can get her to help us. Oh, she's dead. I don't think she is. Don't fuck She's just not here. Oh. Lads, I can't. I can't deal with this shit. Uh, you guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna... I'll lie down. You can snuggle with Tyra. <laughs> Spoon in front of my sister. <laughs> I won't snuggle with him. I'll lie near him to keep an eye on him. Body heat. <laughs> um, Reggie will just say, Do you need any company or you want to be your I don't care. Wherever you want to go. Uh, How big is the shed? It's not the like cold shed. Very far. <laughs> it's a storehouse. Um, okay. So there is, there's uh, uh, like barrels and like I said, uh, cloth bags full of supplies and stuff like that. It mostly seems to be stuff for mending boats. Like you, it's not, it's not a, a warehouse where they're stocking goods to to ship out or anything. Like this is like. <clears throat> there's a, like if okay so what's everybody so Nulra is lying down beside Targal taking your rest are you taking a short rest and if anybody wants to take a short rest you can at this point take a short rest yeah he's gonna lie down beside her I mean at an appropriate sibling distance <laughs> <laughs> okay um, so Nulra is down Regiment is down short resting Mooney Mooney is gonna have a little look around the store and see if she could find like any like any old coats or jackets that have been left, maybe some shoes. Okay. Uh you can give me an investigation check. Diara. Investigation. Let's see. Um, I can't use minor illusion to like <laughs> I know what I want to do, but I don't think I can do it with minor illusion or thaumaturgy. Um what do you want to do? I want to like maintain a guard outside, but kind of create almost like a mirror effect so that the surroundings are reflected and it looks like there's nobody outside. So when you mean create a guard, you mean you don't mean a physical person, like a physical guard. You mean you want to make an illusion to look like like there's it's just a in inconspicuous cold shed you can always put you can always put stuff in front of it you can create an illusion of like boxes and like more yeah. stacks of lumber that you saw so yeah if you if you want to do that that's what you want to spend your time doing casting the the casting the minor illusion yeah you can kind of you, you can, you're able to peek out a little window yeah. And it's very dusty and dirty, but you're you can see down into the that little narrow alleyway that you you will pass through, and yeah, you 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 conjure an image of uh, debris, like not out of nowhere, like literally just like stacks of timber again, uh, making it look a little bit diff more difficult to get down here. Down okay. here. Yeah, Umbra. Umbra will do what he can to actually physically shore up the inside. <sighs> to make it more difficult to get in. Okay. Um, Just using whatever he finds around. Yeah, you can look, you can take the, the, some of the barrels and sacks and stuff are fairly hefty. The, 
a lot of the bags are filled with ropes uh, and cloth. Uh, the barrels are f- filled with a mix of like scraps of timber. There's a couple of barrels that kind of slosh, and it's a very thick, heavy slosh, and it's actually pitch um, used, obviously, for the mending of the boats and stuff like that. And you're able to like move those over. Uh, you hear a very, very familiar sound. Uh, it's just a whistling snore from Regiment. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the kind. It's the. It's the. And you know specifically what this is. This is Regiment taking a power nap mm-hmm. snore. Uh, He's not quite gone into a full deep sleep, so he, his left nostril makes a weird whistling sound um, ever since Nulra broke his nose. Um, <laughs> when they were An kids. improvement. Uh, <laughs> Mooney, what did you get on your... I got a 16. Okay. Ooh. You, you, watch, like, you watch as Diara kind of pitches herself up on a barrel and kind of keeps an eye out the window. And you can, you can feel the magic kind of She's she's humming to herself, uh, and it's you can all kind of hear a soft little gentle hum that she kind of keeps going. It's just a couple of notes over and over again, and it becomes background noise, and then it becomes nothing. You kind of you all kind of have, have it tuned out, uh, but you a number of both get the sense that there's magic to this that she's doing something. Uh, as you start to rummage, Umbra gets the idea to block the entrance or try and make the entrance as in, uh, reinforced as much as possible. And then Umbra sees you shifting about the place and assumes you're giving him a hand, you being much bigger, much broader. Only I'm to so see skinny. You rifling through things. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find a pair of boots, yeah. but you have found a very heavy jacket, like a long jacket. Um... <laughs> It's kind of got a kind of a rust red to it, um, and it's kind of kind of got a, an almost a, a waxy touch to the outside, and a strong smell of tobacco smoke off of it and musk. The mm. inside of it is uh, very well made; like it looks, this looks like to be a fine coat. Wow! Me kind of uh, folds it over her coat, and then she looks under her wee bag as. Brassica awake? Uh, Brassica is literally snoring. Um, uh, also kind of a little whistling sound coming from his nostril. <laughs> she won't wake him then. She'll just like give him a little pat and then go join the others. She's you gonna... Ju- as you as you move over to the others, you just hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. two jam tarts. Uh, <laughs> oh. Coming from the bag. She'll... Put the uh, the little wax jacket just on. What do you call the guy? Farron? Is that the guy we like? Targal. You oh, hate Farron. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name. Targal, she'll, good guy. Farron, bad guy. <laughs> she'll Don't fold up the jacket and good coat. put it under his head. Okay. You... Time just kind of... It's that weird thing where... It slows down because you're waiting for something, but the problem is none of you know exactly what you're waiting for. Ronan said she would return or she would send supplies and food and your belongings. Um, But the late afternoon, evening sun, it starts to get dark outside and uh, Diara, your head's kind of spinning a little bit just from kind of keeping the illusion going and just the kind of... and you find yourself arching your back and you do see now that it is very dark beyond the alleyway um and whatever the sounds were coming from the harbor or shipyard all you hear now is the sea and regmond whistle snoring <laughs> uh, the evening passes and just when it kind of feels like you can't take it any longer that the the waiting diary you see you see someone approaching and yeah. just uh, for heaven's sake remind me to report him when we get back um she's gonna just whisper quietly someone's coming really th- this is clearly some sort of health and safety violation they have to have read their code. 
Do I recognize this person? The voice sounds familiar. You can give me a wisdom saving throw if you want to recall. Yes. I know who it is. Oh, shut up, you. I figured it out. But I'm asleep, so I don't know. <laughs> wisdom. Yeah. No, 10. <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> a 10? Yes. You, it, it, for, it, it, it's that weird thing where the voice sounds familiar. And as they kind of get a little bit closer and you hear them citing violations toward health and safety on the harbour, you recognise the voice and then see Harbour Master Rendell. Mm-hmm approaching and he's kind of come to a stop and he goes to pick up the the timber that you've cast no. the oh the way. fuck he got you good uh, is he on his own there's somebody behind him mm. i do you not go outside you can't <laughs> see them uh, ronin sent us sent me rather Hello. Ready. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, well, that was great. We now know you're at wake. At least one <laughs> of you is anyway. Um, we have supplies. Nice. Oh, and he's just faces just looking out the window. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, well it, it, yes, it's I. Have a master Rendell. Um, can we, can we, can we come in? Yeah. Sure. I mean, no. Technically, no. I made a barricade. <laughs> well, could you? Rem- you trapped yourselves inside. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. With a lot of flammable liquid as well. <laughs> well, I mean, one of us is more of a problem with that than the rest of us are, by and large. Right, well, as much fun as it is dilly-dallying outside um, with, you know, the world's dangers breathing down on top of us and I'm here doing rapscallion things, <laughs> would you please remove the barricade and allow me entrance into what is actually my storehouse? Well, <laughs> technically, the Cashland Constituents storehouse, but I'm the Harvard Master and you, you get the rest. Many will move one barrel. Oh, oh, fuck off, Regiment, you're shite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm>, oh. <laughs> She's still asleep. <laughs> Reg- Regiment's gonna just start uh, lifting some stuff out of the way, try and make a little tunnel, like a... A tunnel? <laughs> a Regiment-sized tunnel that only he can <laughs> <through. laughs> <an> obstacle course. <laughs> Mooney and Dara, you watch as uh, Rendell kind of maneuvers down the alleyway and kind of comes to the door and then there's a slow groaning and then both of you see he's got an old man with him. Who's that old man? <laughs> Moody, you can't just call people old. Who's that man? Ah, well, there goes my surprise then. Uh, where's the little one that was with you? Ray. There are waves. <laughs> <laughs> right well first things first and he he takes uh from around his very spindly pointy shoulders uh, a knapsack um and he hands it out ronan has sent over some food <gasps> there's you. some s- uh, i I dare not ask the lady. She seemed quite preoccupied with keeping your pursuers entertained or distracted. Everybody need to know that we're on the fucking run. Well, it's (laughs) kind of hard not to with these. And he gestures uh, his hand out. Uh, Who's taking the knapsack? I'll take it. Look at the streets. Yeah. You're going (laughs) to go. Uh, from his inside pocket, he takes out a, a scrap of paper and he unfolds it. And it's a wanted poster with the five of you, your faces printed on it. Who looks the best on the poster? I don't even look like that. 
Okay, can we not get into that? Um, <laughs> it says, wanted for crimes of treason, desecration, murder. Oh, murder. Acts of immorality against the one light. Reward, 50,000 gold pieces. Whoa, Jesus, I found myself in. That sounds very similar to the bounty that Tilly had on her. We didn't um, do any of these crimes. I'm sure. No, we definitely, no, we definitely Is it signed? at least one of them. Is it signed by anyone, Declan? Is it signed by anyone? Sorry, my, my broadband went a bit weird there. Um, mm -hmm. There's a symbol. Black fucking sun. Of a black sun. Oh. Uh, pressed to the bottom of it. Fuck. By order of the Pendrastan Empire. <gasps> Whoops. Uh-oh, we fucked off the wrong people. <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie! Of the what people? Pendrastan? Pendrastan Empire. Fuck. Oh no. No. We don't How do... widespread is this? I mean, probably really wide if it's an empire. Well, they're all over town, if that... Great. There's, gonna there's do? people with the posters, or do you mean the posters are all over town? No, there's there's... Well, there's her crew that she's left on the ship, but there's a rather... Handsome elf. Is the word. Uh, she, well, she's elven. Oh. Well, I, I, I would say some might argue that she's quite handsome. Uh, but, uh, you're lucky. You know. People here still haven't forgotten. What happened to the island? And a lot of us hold the empire responsible. What happened to the island? They came here. And they fought for the island. It's a... What was, what was the word that was bandied out by many a general? Strategic landmark. I bet this was like 20 years ago then. Almost to the day. You were obviously the study amongst the group, uh. young lady. And when they couldn't take it or hold it for very long, someone attempted to destroy the island. Hi. What a plague about with a weapon that I've never seen before. Thankfully, never actually saw either. Otherwise, I'd be, well... Dead. What kind of weapon? Stroll on up to the salted barrel and ask the lady herself. I don't know. Did she give you her name? Vestra. Esther. The Stormbringer. Oh. Ominous. If a little on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> and the other guy? Didn't speak. Hmm. No um, hot elf with them, though, right? Male hot elf. No. What did he look like? I, he's dressed in a rather large trench coat and a very broad rimmed hat. His face is obscured with a mask. I. He's quite a stoic character. Um. This isn't. This isn't. What I came here to discuss, hot elves aside. <laughs> he was very hot. 
You you seemed a little preoccupied with the records for the harbour. And well it, it doesn't take it doesn't take a person long to put two and two together. And I've brought somebody here who might be able to answer questions for you about the ship, if that's what you were inquiring about. The find, um, the find fish, wasn't it? Oh, is it Griblin? The viper fish, but yes, it also went by the fang fish. Uh, and again, marks for the study. It is. And Rendell steps aside and all of you see the rather cantankerous drunk from the salted barrel the night before standing there looking a little glassy eyed um, and uh, a little annoyed yeah I'm not going to be the one to talk to this one Uh, I will (laughs) good luck look look, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Rendell. It was ages ago, and I don't really remember. One too many knocks to the head, and one too many. What? What you want to know? Like it was a ship, and it, it went from port to port. That's that's about it. How long? How many years? I, I lad, lad, I don't know. Like a guesstimate. Like you talking fifty? You talking five? Jesus. And he starts to visibly shake. Just a bit of a, a kind of a content warning in case anybody uh, does find it a little upsetting. And if you do, do please, whoops, whoops. Um, do exit and I'll stop and I'll, I'll go into it. But he, there will be kind of withdrawal symptoms for alcohol and stuff here as well. So just if anybody not comfortable with that, exit and I'll move on. And again, if, if someone says it in chat, can you let me know and I'll uh, but you just just a little bit of a content warning because you can all quite clearly see that um Griven is sweating like he's and quite visibly shaking oh, look it uh, uh, look it was it was before the war right it was before the war it was about it was about 20 years ago or right? it was before they fucking blew up the island or whatever Um, what else do you know about it? Well, it was a ship, and it had sails, and it was in the water. Hey, what Tell colours me. did you fly? Did you fly for the Empire? Well, you sail for the Empire. No, it was a private ship. It was they just they, they took on different jobs? The Empire, the Free Republic, the Island, whoever, whatever. It was a free. Why? How many? How many people were on it? Uh, like, at, like at any given time, about twenty-five lads, including Farron. Yeah. And and Rendell kind of just not just yeah, yeah. The captain was there as well. Captain Farron was there. Of course, he was there. He's the captain. And who else? What kind of people? Or what kind of... Sailors, I don't know. What What? What do you want to know about the ship for? It was a ship. It ferried goods from one port to another. It ferried passengers from one port to another. That's it. Did you sail to here, um, you know, this region 20 years ago before, you know, the big destruction that happened? Yeah. Yeah. And you said you took jobs by the Empire. Do you think you might have been ferrying something over here that may have caused, you know, a big destruction? (sighs) Weapon? No. (laughs) No, we... (laughs) Ferrin... Ferrin didn't run in those circles. No, no, no. (laughs) You're giving the man too much credit. No, no, no. 
But what if they were the higher, highest bidder? You wouldn't trust Farron. If you met him, you wouldn't trust him as far as you could throw the man. Mm. Yeah, no, we've met him and he shot me. Yeah. Um, okay. And there's nothing else you think we should know or you can remember? What was the voyage? Were you on the same voyage as him that he allegedly died on? Like 10 years ago? Because he was on a voyage, apparently, on a ship called the Fangfish. He was the captain and he died. But then he turns up a couple of years later on a boat that sank and used for the only survivors. Cribbon stares at you, Regiment. He's kind of... He's ignoring Mooney. Regiment's going to lower its head a little bit. Look at the ground. Here. Can't be. No, just tell us more about the ship. It's fine. Regiment's going to kind of sort of shuffle and walk to the back of the group and either behind Mooney or Nora, whoever's closest and taller. Is everything all right? Yeah, I yeah, just, uh, just uh, wanted to check something. I didn't say anything inappropriate, did I? What's your problem with my brother? You an insight check on regiment? Okay, yeah, sorry, three different things. Uh, yeah, give me an insight check. Uh, uh, he Cribben keeps his eye on you, regiment, for a little bit, and then when Mooney um, says something, you know, he kind of snaps out of it. <sighs> no, 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 clear it. And he's now he's now wringing his hands a little bit, uh, and Rendell reaches into his pocket and he takes out a flask and, and he gives it to the man. And you just he rips the cap off and he just guzzles it. Um, he drinks the thing empty without taking a breath. Uh, and there is a very potent smell of whiskey off his breath. <sighs> For the. He, 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 you don't know what you're talking about, lass. <laughs> Fuck. It's okay. All we've Ferrin, got are records. If Ferrin finds out, I'm the one that told you. You didn't tell us anything, though. We already knew. And the plan is he's not going to be around for much longer anyway, so... <sighs> Look... When it comes to Farron, you're better off just distancing yourself. The man is... <sighs> he's cursed. Look, everyone keeps telling us that. Everyone says he's unkillable. Everyone says he can't do anything against him. I can't. He's. I'm sick of him. He has to go. I killed him. How did you kill him? I drove my own blade into that man's heart when he killed the captain. I thought he was the captain. <laughs> he became captain when he mutinied. You obviously didn't give a killing blow then. I drove my blade to the hilt through his chest. So how do you explain why he's up and walking around? I can't. In the cove? I can't. Did you think he was dead? Is that why he had a black mark? And then he turned up some time later? <laughs> the mark's because we got caught. You see... And he looks at Regiment again. Look... I'm not... I'm not proud. But I, 
He threatened my family. He, if I didn't, if I didn't follow him, if I didn't, we did some horrible things. A lot of people would do horrible stuff for family, so I wouldn't let that get to you too much. This man's an old drunk. He's he's done now. Come on, I'll keep. Regiment, stop us. That was a sixteen on the inside for regiment. Uh, regiment, would you give me a deception check at disadvantage? Oh. That's a four. <laughs> no, <Okay>. three. <laughs> nice. Um, what's your what's Regiment's state of mind at the moment? Um, he's just panicking. Um, a bit. Just doesn't want to have to deal with this. Just wants to move on. Uh, very scary. Just wants to hide. Wants to get this man out. And that's what you read from him, Umbra. You. Something has, is shaking Regiment kind of to his core. We, uh... We didn't do it. Farron didn't do it for family. No. <laughs> There's something wicked. Evil. In him. Why does he want the ledger, though? What, if he's so fearless, what... Oh, Why does he care if someone sees that? He's looking to establish it in himself now, so I've heard, as a as a mayor and as a businessman and nobody have business dealings with well An unkillable man. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have business dealings with a man. A man who dealt die. in who dealt in what? And he kind of looks at Regiment. Why do you keep looking at my brother? He took people. Took them where? Wherever people were needed. Wherever workers were needed. Against the will. Oh no, he definitely has for that. No. Well, all the more reason for him to. I. To die. I'm so sorry, lad. What are you talking about? You took me. What? Regiment, what? It doesn't matter. It was a long time ago. Listen, we're here now. Farron took you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. Farron took you. You knew who he was this whole time? That doesn't matter, Diara. He took you. But Why didn't you just let us kill him from the start? I didn't. I didn't know. I wasn't sure. You want him dead, do you? Um, I just want to forget about it. It wasn't all bad. You know? He needs to die. No. It... I don't care, Regiment. He does. How'd you, get to, how'd you get to Cove? How'd you get to Canuck? I... How are you alive? Because nobody wanted me as a work. I wasn't strong enough. Stumpy little fingers. No market for mason jars, no? No. <laughs> Not even the little small ones. <laughs> Nora's going to reach a hand out and just she'll clasp Regiment's hand and uh, he'll jerk it away. It's, I I got off. I wasn't useful. But before that, honestly, it was okay. You know? I don't think it was. 
I don't remember a lot. I was, I was young. Which makes it worse that he took you, Regiment. It's bad enough taking people, but when it comes to taking children. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. You work for cheaper, right? And... You died, lad. What? You died. What are you no. talking about? No, I didn't. I never died. What are you talking about? What do you mean he died? I... I... I watched... Theron. We called it. We called it. We watched oh. as he tied a rope around your legs. And threw you overboard. What? No, no, no. I, I, I was left at the next port. I, 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 I can remember the, 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 the flu and, and everyone got sick and, and, and he thought it was my fault. So he left me at the next port because I, I brought the sickness on board. That's, that's what I did. Well, he obviously I, I, didn't die. He's right here. What are you talking about? You were sick, lad. You were, you were always sick, but. Not great with the movement. Oh. Farron wouldn't. He, he wouldn't pay for a doctor. And. And we didn't stop him. No, that's. You know what? It doesn't matter. It, it's in the past. It's it's fine. You know. Did he do that to you, Reginald? Did he throw you overboard? No, I I don't I don't think I don't, I don't know anymore. I don't give a shit. He took you, and that in itself is a horrific thing. I can't stand by this anymore. I can't listen to all these tales of what this man has done and continues to do and leave him walking around. If he didn't take me, I never would have met all you. It's not a validation. Jimmy's right. Nobody... I, I didn't get anything from Farron that would have... Now, unless Farron's <laughs> like a master of hiding his emotions or expects to see people he's he expects to see people come back from something like that he he didn't um he didn't it didn't he didn't know you maybe he just didn't recognize regiment yeah, that was... would have been like 30 years ago this man yeah. knows him no, it was like twelve years ago, and I, I was eight. I was eight, and I only had like a peach fuzz beard. I mean, I've changed a lot. Yeah, and this man right here still recognizes you. Bastard! He's a bastard. Ferrin, he's killed so many men, women, and children. I. I imagine they all just look the same, but I know you. Yeah, I know. I don't think like a man like Farron that is so ruthless and cruel would even care to remember the faces of the people that he's hurt. So how do we kill the unkillable? Does Whoa. he have a weakness? Maybe he's a vampire or something. Maybe we just drag him out into the light and just poof. This man right here ran something right through his heart, so that's probably... Mm. I mean, depending on what fairy tale you, you buy into. He has oh, to I've have something. Those. There has I to don't... be something that... It, it... What's his secret? Maybe we can infiltrate his secret mana and find out. Diary, give me a perception check. Hmm. 
24. Ooh. As the, as the anyone kind of not probing questions, you're not, you're not asking Regmond or Kriven much of anything at all. You're kind of letting it just happen. It's not that you kept a watch outside, but you occasionally kind of fitted an eye out, but you hear something rattling out in the shipyard. Oh. Hello? And there's a faint green glow getting brighter. We need to get out of here. Hey, the door's bloody blocked! Is there anywhere else? Is there another exit from here, Declan, or just that one door that one just this barricaded? There's windows. Okay. Me I'm gonna, and Laura's gonna go up and start taking the shit away from the door. Here in Dyer, I say that. I'm it kind of slam in. Gonna get out. Uh, actually, actually n- n- no, I'm. And he's going to move kind of further into the storehouse and start hiding. If they're coming, they're coming. I know we'll be trapped in here when they arrive. We need to get our man out as well. I have. Should I go wait and check who it is? I have. Uh, uh, an idea. What's your idea? And Regiment's gonna reach into his trouser pocket and take get his little shot. Oh! Nora's gonna put her hand out and just she's not gonna stop him. She's gonna put a hand over and say, "You have to be sure. You won't be the same if you take this." I don't know. What are the what are the chances do we have? That's how I felt. That's just. Be sure, we don't okay? know what we're up against. We don't know what we're up yeah, against. Everybody just no, get ready. I know. Exactly. I'm just saying, have your shot ready. Not you, Umber. You don't have one. But everyone else. Mine's we... gone, Regmond. Where's yours? I drank it. Shut the front door. No, don't. We need to get out. <laughs> <laughs> if you just, like, if you just take everything out of the way, I can like sneak out and you know see what the crack is. <laughs> you don't think they're just gonna? Kidnap you again? Well, not of the scene. Be careful, that, Moon. I can that's, do it. That's, I'll that's make it. a little. I'm gonna make a gap for Mooney. Can we all go together? No. Okay. Yes. No. At this stage, uh, Dyra, you can see it's it's gotten brighter, um, and there's a figure standing at the edge of the alleyway. I and... cast invisibility. Okay. It's illuminated. Like it's there's the green light kind of coming out from it. What it stands to about six foot three. Oh, six foot three. That's so big. Does it look like um name? Who? Dead. It looks like a person. Who? You can't Robot see anything. Man. You can't see anything else. Burn. Nope, you can't see anything else from here. It literally looks like a person. Does it look like you want to cast invisibility and do a wide berth and then try and very sneakily get close enough to that maybe she can get a better look at it, at who this okay. person is. Can I move Targle to like, I don't know what's in the shed, but to the, like a back wall and okay. put like, if there's a bit of metal or wood, like over him a little bit <gasps> at an angle, just in case but- if anything falls. Before Minnie goes, she's going to take out Brassica. Wake up! Wake up! What? I need you to stay here, okay? And stay with the arrow, all right? Uh, you could just lift me in the bag and, told, and, and not woke me up. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, she's going to pass uh, Brassica to Diara. Hold on to him for a wee second. What am I supposed to find? I've never done this before, but it might work. And she's gonna, she's gonna do what she had done: go outside, wide berth, invisibility. Okay. Try and try and see who this is. As you hand, uh, as you hand Brassica over in the bag to Diara, he was trying to say something, but you blink, invisible, and shimmy out the door. It's a tight squeeze, Mooney, for you to kind of be able to go round to give her a wide berth. Give me a stealth check with advantage. Advantage. Uh, and Braska just looks up at you, Diara. I, w- 
I was going to give her, and he's just holding a piece of paper. Oh, famous hold. last words. Uh -oh. I rolled okay. Um, I got, oh, I didn't roll okay. I got 11. You don't hear footsteps as you squeeze through kind of these two tall stacks of, of, of timber. Um, a couple of them rattle and shake, but beyond that, you've made it out. You, you, you've, you don't hear anything else. And all you hear is just the sound of the waves crashing. You want to go around to try and get a look at it? Yes. Okay, we'll come to that in a second. Wide breath. Nolra, you're moving Targal. Umbra, what are you doing? Uh, Umbra is going to the window that you mentioned earlier that Diara was mm -hmm. looking out of. Is that person sized? Uh, yeah, you would. You'd be able to, but it, it, it looks out into the alleyway, out into the main shipyard. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Just, just in case. Um, he. Oh, it's been will... raided. Mm. Oh well. Oh. Oh my gosh, hi. Hi guys, hi welcome to us, about guys. to get our asses um, handed to us. <laughs> yeah, we're out there in the... Uh... He will attempt to cover the pitch with something flame retardant. The barrels of pitch with something moderately flame retardant, or at least make it harder to catch in the event of tragedy. Okay. Um, Ayara? Uh, can I read what Braska was going to give Mooney? Oh, it, it, it's a it's a page from a children's book, and there's a lot of like little squiggles and scratches on it. But there's there's it's very strange. It just it just shows a it just shows a young woman standing in front of two doors. And both drawers are open, but you don't know the story. You and a lot of it, it's like like a lot of the markings and stuff are kind of scratched into the words. Give me an Arcana check. Ooh, ooh, I'm good at this. Oh, Mooney, you done goofed. It's a new spell. <laughs> I did not do good at it. Well, sixteen. You don't know what the spell is, but this. It's a spell scroll. There's this Ooh. power emanating from this. Baby's first scroll. What oh, is paper this? plane, that shit. I, I can't wait to use that with my next character. <laughs> 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 Who is Brassica? <laughs> hey, hey. I'm the Brassica. <laughs> um, and Regiment, what are you doing? He's a little preoccupied with everything so he's just kind of hanging back and going to see how uh, things unfold okay yeah mooney as you as, as the uh, while the others are inside preparing and doing what they can to hide or begin to protect themselves you you turn around and you slink through the alleyway and you kind of come around the other side of the shipyard. And again, it's just a lot of boats uh, overturned or like the skeletons, uh, the wooden frames of boats and stuff like that. And you can hear like a tarp flapping in the wind. And as you come around the other side of the storehouse where you were, you can see the faint green glow coming from that, uh, the middle of the courtyard and the alleyway that you had kind of slinked away from. But you also see standing on the road that leads here to the shipyard. A woman. And her hair is just kind of caught and her cloak is caught in the wind. And you hear a wave crash and fall silent. And you just hear her say, attack. <gasps> I'm going to do telepathic bond with uh, Brassica. And I'm going to telepathically tell him, get out, get out now, get out, get out. Oh, the and one who tapped more than anyone except one person. Sorry, go on. And we're taking a break there. No, 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 no. no. You're so mean, you're so mean. <sighs> oh, <your> yay. <laughs> oh. I was about to be like, but we don't pay for this. And I was like, ah. 
<laughs> Emotionally, you get what you pay for. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Hey, everybody who just raided, hang around and watch us. Panic. Do hang around. And if you, yeah, uh, we, I, I, before we go to a quick break, can I just introduce us to who we are, what we do? There it is. It's up there. It's up there. We're uh, an Irish group. <gasps> who did that? I was about to do that. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. I... Uh, and yeah, this is a homebrew game, homebrew world, ridiculous story, fabulous players. Wonderful and great, story. Great people in chat. So hopefully you do stick around and give us a you know, like and follow and we'll return the same. Because that's what you do when you're being nice. We are right, lovely. Cool. See you. And so get up, stretch, hydrate, Pee. and we will see you very soon. What just okay. died? What just died? What just no? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs>
damage now. Oh, does it okay. smell? <laughs> oh, no, no, do we have no. to add? Do we really? Do we have to add? Does it that? smell? No, it's uh, not. No. I can blow smoke thing. rings. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back. Bye, yes, everyone. We're back. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> Umbra's <laughs> washing his tattoo. Yeah, Umbra's washing his tattoos. Um, can everybody uh, roll for initiative? Please? Oh, don't forget, you you get advantage, Umbra. You touched yourself and blessed yourself. How long does that last? <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> Same as Umbra uh, Hill. Until... <laughs> it lasts until my next long rest. Oh. No, actually, it lasts until I use it again. It's just permanent. It's Damn. broken, to be honest. Wow. That's stamina. Thank you, D&D. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. okay. We're all hyper after being <laughs> This is not a safe <laughs> space for men. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 16. Wow. wow. I got 13. I got 13, too, but I have plus one. Um, well, we do have the uh, the tracker. Um, so, um, I'm, I got nine, um, so. No, I'll uh, say anything, don't slag him. That's a great uh, job, Declan, yeah, well done. done. Good, good roll. Good I roll. am actually going to destroy you. <laughs> no, I don't appreciate the sarcasm either, so. That came from the bottom of my heart. Roll deception. That's a black <laughs> evilness. So no. Um, okay. Uh, top of the turn order. So is Umbra with eighteen? That's actually worse for me. Um, <laughs> okay. Right now, nothing has happened yet. Correct. It's it, it's moving. That's the only thing that's happened. You heard. Sorry. Forward. Brassica has got the Mooney's panicked and is now kind of scratching at Diara to say it's go they're attacking, they're going to attack. Um, you can all hear kind of slits and shrieks coming from the badger. Um, Diara. Yeah, Diara's going to be like, okay, okay, okay. I, we need to go. We need to. We need to go like now. Okay, let's go. And I'll, I'll, I'll whip the rest of the barricade because I know I only made a small gap for Mooney to get out. Yes. I'll just really shit away. So, I'm well, skinny! No, no, you're going out first. Yeah. Okay. Axe drawn. Um, as you head out, you see this thing moving uh, towards uh, towards you. There's just this figure with like faint threads of green light just emitting, kind of pulsing off of it. It's walking it's not charging it's not running it's walking down the the lane towards you you have the small little narrow passageway between the piles uh the stacks of the the shelves of lumber if you want to go through it or you can uh, yeah. try go with... so what are my options i have i can go through the stacks or or him or the whatever's coming towards us yeah yeah the thing only one of you is going to you're going towards him yeah okay um so we are technically in combat. So, Umbra, I'm assuming you're using your action to move? Um, it's just an alley, right? There's only there's nowhere to go, really. There's the alleyway, or there's the, the slip between the, the, the shelves that you might be able to squeeze through. Well, you will be able to squeeze through, because if Mooney can do it, you can do it. Uh, how low are these buildings? Like, one story, like, ground level? Yeah. The storehouse is only one. There were warehouses further back along the shipyard, but this is just a storehouse. And are there there are other buildings on either side? Obviously, there's the alley and the one on the far side of that. All that's beside you here are just the stacks of boats and the shelves filled with lumber. Can Umbra Misty step out the window? He's only got 30 feet in it, but if there's anywhere relatively covered that he can appear behind, like crouch behind? Only thing you can do, if you're going to, if, if it's based on your vision, mm. you can misty step right to the end of the... Unless you follow up behind, because Mooney's charging out the... Sorry, Nolra's charging out the door. So if you follow up behind her, and you look to your right, you'll be able to misty step to the other side of the shelves. And I would cover him, wouldn't I? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're kind of broad enough and tall enough that you are going to be this thing's central focus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. If if that's not an immediately obvious thing to do, he will do that. Okay. Um, and once he's behind the shelves, he will ready his bow and arrow. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, Misty Step is a bonus action, so can he still ready an action? Uh, yeah, what's the ready? Uh, moment this thing does something aggressive, take a shot at it. Aggressive at just, in, like... In general, or... As soon like, as it he... attacks, let's say. Okay. You're... Because if you're going to missy step the other... Okay, this is where it's starting to get messy. If you're going to missy step the other side of the shelf stack, you're not going to have a clear shot at him. Um, yeah, that's the only thing. You're not going to have a clear shot. Then he will... Dodge as his action. Okay. Um, Nulra, as you charge out, uh, as you you kind of reef the door open, um, you see this thing moving down the alleyway towards you. Uh, and two steps, you're out the door, and you feel the, the hard concrete of the shipyard under, under boot. Behind you, you hear Umbra, and then he whispers something. And then from the corner of your eye, you see him just on the other side of the shelf stack as he's just blinked over uh, behind them. Mm -hmm. um, the creature doesn't seem to have noticed you at all at all. Uh, Regiment. Um, yeah, Regiment's going to charge out with Nora. He's going to ready his great axe. If anything okay. aggressive goes down, he's going to charge with the... You're not going to get by Nora unless she's knocked flat on her ass. I'm just telling you that now. It's quite a yeah. narrow space that you're in, but... Yeah, I'll be uh, behind her at least, I guess, and just okay. be ready to go. Okay, so... Following and holding, uh, Nora, you want to make an attack on this thing? It's coming at us with this, like, radiating this energy, isn't it? Can yep. I get a read on its face? Nope, it's behind a mask. It's masked. Mm -hmm. um, oh, mask. okay, that will... If, if it's masked, she's going to remember that Oliver said, or was it Oliver? One of them said that it was masked. One of them had a mask on. Yeah. No, Oliver uh, said that the Rendell heavy... or Oliver, I can't remember which. So Oliver said that the man, yeah. the heavy man was masked. Okay. Well, for her, that means it's the enemy. She's going to enter rage this time, oh. shaking. Still quiet, but shaking this time and reckless attack him. You. You just walk out, you see Umbra vanish, you hear Regmond kind of behind you, and having him there is a comfort. Having him kind of shoulder to shoulder, not physically, but he's got your back in the in this. But you swing the great axe down from around your shoulders and you take it in both hands and you squeeze and everything feels cold. The, the rage inside of you, it's ice. There's no temper, there's no anger, there's no fire. There's a silence. An empty, heavy, dragging silence. And you feel your, you feel your body get stronger. You feel that energy channel through you. But there's no connection. Oh. And any sign of my ancestors of it? There's nobody. Fuck. There is only a silence that drags you down. Oh, and the, does that affect me in any way? Or I'm so good to go Make with tackle. rage? Make an attack roll. Okay, it's going to be an advantage of reckless attack, mm -hmm. thankfully. Uh, 24 to hit. That'll hit. Damage is 11. You, it doesn't, whatever, whatever. It, and that's all it is. It's a complete and total disconnect to those feelings and those, those emotions. There's no whispers in your ear. There's no great, great 
dwarven grandmother tutting from the side there's nothing and that's fucking fine and you you bring the axe up over your head and as this thing walks towards you you find your pace picking up until you're in a a quick stride and as you get up on it you see that the mask and you remember Baru you remember the the creature from Canuck the 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 man the automaton the unholy thing whatever it was and that it had like a weird beak like mask this one wears a rather fat leather chubby mask and the eyes are hollow black spaces and the grin is twisted up into a big fat wide smile and the nose is slightly contorted into an inhuman shape as you look at this sort of twisted comical face and as you charge and you swing the great axe right up over it brings its hand up and it whips a large sword up and the trench coat the the robes that it's wearing are cut away and standing in front of you is a creature that looks an awful lot like Baru. Oh, fuck. But it's skin. There's more of this metal. There's more of these tubes and these wires, these these things. And it, you slice straight through his arm. And blood and black ichor sprays. But it doesn't flinch. The hand just falls to its side and it grips the blade. Umbra, give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. B- a bonus action. Or your bonus action was raging. I'm going to extra attack when he's finished. Not going crazy, hopefully. Okay. Well, no, you can still roll the extra attack. Yeah. 13. Uh, okay. That's fine. You pass. Um, I'll come to that in a second, Umbra. Uh, uh, 23 to hit hits uh, and then damage is 15 wow okay um, you uh, look again almost like uh, almost like a miner swinging a pickaxe as the great axe comes down and you clench it goes loose in your hand and you swing straight back up and before he has a chance to or it has a chance to deflect or catch itself or brace you bring the axe straight through and you cleave right through his neck and you actually see the head shift and slip and fall and there's a spray again of this thick black blood and umbra the smell the taste the electricity in the air catches you and there's a sinking pit of starvation in your stomach. And you find you find your bones even creaking a little. And you salivate. And then the the pain subsides. Fuck. Diara. Do we get to use our ready deductions, or does that wait for you? Again, again, you can make an attack at disadvantage if you wish. No, uh, because it, it's just because Nulra is blocking the these two mm. things are blocking the alleyway that you're in, um, and she hasn't shoved it, she hasn't moved it back. It it encroached into this space. So if you're going to make an attack in here, you're going to have to do it at disadvantage. That's that's the only thing, Regiment. No, let's go. Okay. Dara. Um, I can see it from the window, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to cast Bane. <laughs> okay. And it's a charisma save of 13. Yeah, roll for it. What? No, you have to roll, roll, for it. roll your charisma save. Oh, you fucking. Oh, no. <sighs> I hate you so much. I hate you so much. So much. But you don't really. <laughs> Shit. 
Come on, Dyer is charismatic. Sometimes. Um, it's not working. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> I have plus five, so it should be okay. She says as she gets a seven. It's two plus five, or yeah, two plus okay. five. Um, oh, you shit. you watch as Nora bears down on it, and you see regiment at her back, uh, ready uh, to engage, and you. Yeah. You fixate on it, and you everything in Athens you can do. It, your your thoughts, your whispers, your mutterings become scratches, and you let them go. You lash out like a stinging, sharp sound just cracks through the air around you. And Nora, uh, and Redmond, you can kind of see it as well when the spell hits. A glyph lights up on the chest plate of this creature. And the magic is returned. <gasps> you are veined. Oh, fuck. Who, all of us or just Diara? Just Diara. Shit. You know, reversed me. Oh, no. Bonus action. Uh, see, I don't know now, because if I fucking hellish rebuke, is it going to fucking... Uh, Hell is me. Out. No, I'm not not gonna risk it. Uh, Hell rebuke is a reaction though, not a. Oh, that's a, but, it's one of But I've taken damage. Okay. Um, Would I be able to call out to Umbra? Just, uh, uh, just a quick message. Like her magic, her ma- magic bounced off of it. Uh, you don't necessarily know. Well, from what I saw, you said a glyph. Appeared on it. Appeared on it. But you don't know. Oh, I don't know that the has gotten hit. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Retraction. <laughs> um, she is going. Who's next? She's going to. No, I can't even see her. No, no bonus action. Okay, Mooney. Okay, uh, that woman who called her attack. Mm-hmm. Then he's going to reach out and she's going to cast Maximilian's uh, Earthen Grasp. So she needs to make a a strength save. A 15. Oh. Strong girl. She fails. Yes. Yes. So she is restrained (laughs) and she takes, oh my God, uh, 11 bludgeoning damage. Woo. And I have her grasped and you a big watched... badger paw <laughs> made of and like a big muck badger paw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the the concrete under her feet cracks and crumbles, and it swirls around until like a badger claw kind of comes up like a swipe, and it does, and it grips and grabs Squeeze. and squeezes. And then I'm not invisible anymore. Just there. You don't hear a whimper. Or see her flinch. Oh. Oh god. And then bonus action again um, to telepathically talk to Brassica. They're attacking. You have to get out now. Make sure to get everyone out. Uh, they're they're doing it. They're they're doing what they usually do. And uh, <laughs> Diara Diara's hurt. I think Diara's. She's looking. To, this isn't something, uh, and, and uh, you just hear him call Braska just say, Mooney. And then from behind you, you just hear, hello, Mooney. <gasps> and standing behind you is a woman with blood red hair wearing a long cloak. Who am I holding? Oh, that. Oh, fuck. And she just wishes her hand. A simple little illusion trick. <gasps> oh. I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. I can't. I can't. I, no, I can't move. Because if I move, she'll slap me. <laughs> That's it. That's my turn. Um, fuck. 
Okay. How does she know my all? It's just, yeah, she knows my name. She knows all of her names. A 16 hits, Mooney. Oh, it does. It does hit. It hits me. Um, and as she, as she calls out your name, uh, you turn back and you see her uh, crackling between her fingers. You see blue and white light. Uh, 19 lightning damage. A reaction, a shield. Okay. And you've got uh, mage armor. Does that do anything? It only goes up to 13. Uh, can I reaction shield? Yes, of course I can, yeah. Reaction shield. Um, uh, yeah. Fuck. Doesn't hurt. No. Oh, shit. Don't counter spell me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a constant back and forth. Uh, she she it's just. Reverse. It's not it's a. Reverse. It's, a reverse. it's not a punch. It's not a slap. It's not even a kind of a, a swipe. She just literally reaches out with a slow <gasps> hand to hit, like just to touch you as you see this lightning crackling all around her. And she does. And then light ripples around you as her electric her shocking grasp catches against your shield Ew. and her cantrip is dispelled and she just pulls the cloak and wrap around her a little bit that was interesting yeah hmm. i know if he checks myself <laughs> <laughs> wonderful uh and as she as she smiles at you, uh, she lunges with uh, a long silver blade. No, don't! I'm so soft. And, and she no, she she doesn't even come close to hitting you. Um, oh yeah, it's an eleven. Uh, you manage. She she tears through uh, the coat the, that you were wearing. She kind of cuts into it a little bit. I'm not wearing a coat. I'm just wearing a pretty dress. Oh, sorry. Oh, you, sorry. You put the coat. You put the coat Under over. His head. Sorry, yeah. So yeah, she cuts into the dress. Oh, um, this isn't mine. What is with Mooney and her clothes getting wrecked? They're you... all I have. All my friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, no, right. You saw its head kind of literally fall back and over, and the wound, um, and then it comes. It literally. You start to see that liquid that's oozing out of it, that's Ugh. spraying out of it, thicken and start to thread and bind and whip and connect and it pulls the head back in and the wound on its hand Gross. also begins to heal. And as it does, it flicks out with uh, its long sword and it has advantage on you because you reckless attack. Yeah. Um, that is... A 23 to hit mm -hmm. on the first. Or a, a 23 and 24 both hit. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be two. Oh, fuck. Uh, Oof, 34 slashing damage. Good Jesus. I, oh, do I still I mean, get my resistance with my rage, even though my rage all, is all fucked do, up? Yeah. yeah, you do. Okay. What's that, 17? 17, yeah. Um, you... It literally, um, as, as the wound on its hand that you carved into it closes, it just swings out as if this long sword was made of... If it was just a twig... There's no weight in it at all. It just, its arm literally just flicks it out. You don't even have a chance to bring the great axe up in defense as it carves your right hand from your elbow to your wrist. And then it stabs straight down into your left foot. Um, and it reaches for your throat. Give me a strength uh, saving throw. My saving throws aren't effect with exhaustion it's only checks isn't it can the rat confirm <laughs> uh it's only checks sorry yeah i think saves okay. is another level of it so i can use my advantage with my rage um You're beating a 16. 18. okay 
Um, it reaches out to kind of to grab you, um, not right to like to literally strangle you, um, and you you like you it, you kind of sidestep around it a little bit, not enough to not enough, not an opportunity attack, but you've kind of moved a little bit. Uh, Redmond, at this point, you have if you have if you want to take an action, you can attack here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it with my great axe. Cool. And ooh, <laughs> that's a seven to hit. That does not hit them, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, you, as you turn, like as as you see it, kind of hack into Nolra, you swipe straight back towards it, um, and where you swing. Uh, it's already kind of half turned itself uh, onto Nolra. Like it's moved to attack her and her alone so far. Okay. Um, we're at top of the the turn order. It is Umbra. Um, of the current situation, what can Umbra actually see? So he didn't see Diara's spell get bounced, but he did. He can see Nora and Regiment taking swipes at this guy. You can still, you can, because because I mean, there are gaps in these shelves, so you can see through. Um, so you can, you can see that they're kind of now where you first came in around the corner. That's where okay. they're all fighting. So okay. if you come around the shelves on one side, you'll be able to, like, it would cost you about maybe fifteen feet of movement. To get a better vantage point, would he be able to climb up to the top of the roof rather than being stuck in the alley? Yeah, the roof of the storehouse. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, you again, it, it, it's probably going to cost you close to fifteen feet, like in terms of moving up and stuff like that. But it's not difficult terrain for you. You literally you put a hand on the wall, and then another. And you, you, you just pull yourself up. It's you literally you. You cling to the wall as if there were grooves in it, but there are no grooves. Your hands allow you to just climb. And you, scurry up the side of the building, and Dyer overhead, you hear the tin roof rattling. Hmm. And you can now see, you're now so on the storehouse. You can yeah. see clearly down the alleyway. You can see, the. The golem-like creature, uh, Diara and Regiment fighting it, and on the other side you see Mooney in almost gets stabbed by a woman uh, with red hair. Well, that does change his priorities a little bit. Um, so he is going to take a shot at the woman with red hair with his longbow, which would be. An 18 to hit for 8 damage. You... Curse you. Uh, you draw your longbow, <laughs> you pull back, and you fire. And where she lunged to stab Mooney, Mooney, you see her kind of curl a smile. And she looks, and in her eyes, lock on you as her body lights up as an arrow strikes it. And she casts shield. Oh, you no. hate to see it. Bonus action. Fuck. Uh, I ain't got none. Okay. He will shout uh, to the rest of the group that Mooney's fighting over there and point. Okay. Just so everyone knows what's happening. I'm still in the shed, so I won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Doing your gardening. <laughs> Redmond. Um, he's going to go for this big monster thing just because it got um, Nora. So, um, uh, that is a 15 to hit. Does not hit. Uh, oh, fuck. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, I tell you, I'll make, I'll make it a little better. You swing uh, with your axe down top of it and it scrapes into metal and there are sparks. Okay. But it doesn't, it hasn't broke the metal. It hasn't cut through anything. It's just... Whatever it's made of, it's strong. Okay. Um, not much else I can do, but I do have the option of giant's might, so I'd like to get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You. I, and you, like it, it is. You get 
You're at like you're like the same height as Null right now, right? No, he's yeah. not. He's not quite there. He's slightly smaller. Okay, slightly, <laughs> slightly smaller. Uh, <laughs> definitely taller, Regiment. Uh, yeah, you. You feel like the you, you, your your axe pretty much bounces off of it as you swing down on it, and you saw Nulra carve into him, but you you've barely you've barely made a dent uh, in his armor, um, and just rolling out your shoulders and stuff like that, you kind of have to a flex. Mm-hmm. And Nulra, you watch as uh, Regiment gets bigger, like he physically gets bigger. It's your action, Nulra. Reckless attack. Oh no, my dice all got stuck. <laughs> uh, 16 to hit. Doesn't hit. Doesn't? Nope. Oh, shit. Shit. And your second one? My second attack? Well, that was my, yeah, my first attack. Uh, ooh, that's much better. 23 to hit. That will hit. And that is, oh, fuck yeah! A 12 plus Yay. 12. 18 damage. Okay, um, you again. You you watch as Regiment gets bigger, and his his you saw his axe, his great axe, bounce off of it. Uh, you swing where he uh, where he aimed as well, and immediately your axe just bounces straight back. But using the full momentum, you kind of do a half turn with it and clock straight back. And this time, you bury the blade of your great axe right into this thing's shoulder. It's cut into what would be the clavicle bone, and there's just this oozing. It's just thick liquid straight out. And you start to feel it pulling on your axe. Oh. Does it like the does it have a hand on my axe or the actual body is like absorbing? The body. My axe? Oh fuck no. Um it is Dyra. Um, so I have a question. Mm-hmm. I if I like I'm casting a different spell. That means I'm dropping concentration on Bane. Yep. So I'm no longer Bane. Yep. yep. Um, so then I'm going to cast a healing word on it has Targo. To be another concentration spell. Yep. Okay. So then I'm going to cast message to. I saw Umbra climb. On the roof, right? Mm, you heard somebody climb onto the roof. Okay, I'm gonna message um, Nolra. No, Nolra's in a rage. She's not gonna listen to me. I'm gonna message Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, oh, we've got another rave. Just very quickly. Hello. Hi. I'm I'm gonna tell him the void. that we're not gonna win this fight. Um, someone needs to help me get Targal out of here and then I'm going to cast Healing Word on Targal for um, can I briefly just kind of grab Nolra's arm just here just say it's not worth it we gotta go she'll whip her arm out away from him Nolra it's not the time no it, it has to it's be. not I- Look, I'm really big now. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> what did you what did you get for your healing word? Uh, sorry. Uh, ten altogether. Okay. Um, Targal's eyes kind of blink open and he's kind of looking at you. Get up. We need to go. We're uh, under attack right now. Rendell's kind of looking at him as well. Uh, Cribbon has... Oh, I forgot they were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all there. I thought they pieced out. No, uh, they were going to, but then... Why aren't they doing anything, lazy folks? (laughs) Rendell went and hid, to be fair. Oh, well Uh, done, Rendell. He's a harbour master. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, um, And he's also a confirmed bachelor. He's going nowhere. Uh, (laughs) Oh, no. He, Cribbon, on the other hand, is literally sitting against, he's sitting on a small stool and he's just drinking uh, from that. Like, he's just drinking. Uh, Jealous. uh, Targal kind of gets up and he looks at you. What's what's going on? What are you? What, is it Ferrin? No, it. I don't know what the hell that glowing thing is, but I've met one of those other things before. They don't go down easily. We're not going to win this fight. Okay. Um, uh, 
and he he goes to kind of pick himself up uh, and he kind of winces in pain uh, uh, we can uh, Ronan we, we can we can get Ronan to help what I'm just supposed to leave you here and go fetch her no just help me and he kind of like he, he kind of puts an arm over your your shoulder yeah. um and leading him to the doorway he sees Nulra Regiment and whatever the hell that thing is <laughs> <laughs> and he he sees the gap between the the the, the storehouse and the, the stack of shelves this way, and he shoves you. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow with him. Um, Mooney. Hi, I would oh, use my action and get my big earthen badger paw, and it's gonna whip around and boosh. She needs to make another strength save. Okay. Get her ready. Sixteen. Oh, she did it. Fuck, fuck. God damn it. How far away is she from Umbra? Uh, You're on the roof. Let me come around. You're about 20 feet. He's going to use his spell Silvery Barbs <gasps> to force Ooh. her to re-roll and take the new roll. <gasps> 15. Oh, no, meets it, beats it. Oh, that's the uh, I sorry. I thought sixteen was the meets it beats it. Oh no! Um, pain. Can you oh, do it again? <laughs> <laughs> One more barb. One more. One more barb. I can't, but I can give you advantage on whatever your next roll is. So no, uh, she gets disadvantage on one. You get advantage on one. No bonus I'm, action. A bonus action. Um, I'm gonna do. What to do? And um, peace. Sorry, I'm going to use my fur bold magic and do hidden step and turn invisible. And then I'm going to use my movement to get back to Brassica and just hope she doesn't hit me in the head. I thought he was in the bag on me. She's. He's with you. Yeah. I want to go back. You. You literally the, the the claw of earth that you ripped out of the concrete uh, on the pier. Uh, lit rips through and there's a, a trail of kind of earth and destruction and cracked concrete and tiles and muck and uh, debris kind of as it just whips through the yard it immediately rushes right past you and Umbra you see what looks and you're very familiar with badger paws these days <laughs> what is quite clearly a badger paw made of earth just comes straight down and the woman just holds her hand up high five and when it hits, <laughs> the earth turns to dust. No. no. That's my paw. And in her left hand, she just tuts no. a finger at you, Umbra. No. And as Mooney vanishes in front of her, her gaze shifts over her shoulder. And she fires a lightning bolt straight at you, Umbra. You oh, fucking eat it. <laughs> oh, that's so severe. <laughs> uh, what's the same? So you need to make oh, shit. a deck saving throw, please. Oh, come on, Umbra. You're dexterous. Six. I'll just roll the damage. 16. <laughs> oh, no, how many is he rolling? It's a lot. It's a lot. Is what it is. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, last one fell out. Uh, take 37 lightning damage. Shit, That's a lot of damage. Down. Down. Our oh, healer! Shit. Lightning right. just cracks from the palm of her hand between her fingers. She just lets out a laugh. Oh, no, 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 Mooney. You watch. No! And lightning shoots straight from the palm of her hand and it strikes Umbra. And you see him, the entire roof, the tin roof of the storehouse crackles with the energy. Oh, shit. Does Dayara see that? Dayara takes five lightning damage. Targal takes four lightning damage. Rendell takes five lightning damage. Brassica takes two lightning damage. <gasps> no! And Quibbin um... takes six and dies. <gasps> oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, oh shit. that's so sad. But also, uh, 
<laughs> seeing this, Diara is going to like scream like a banshee and cast hell- hellish rebuke on her. Okay. Just oh, happens. this woman. Charisma saving throw. Um, I think so. Yeah. Sorry, one sec. Oh fuck. She's charismatic. This one, I can tell. I know, but it's a fucking knee jerk reaction to seeing Umbra take go down. Not the old man dying right beside you, no. Dexterity. <laughs> no, fuck that guy. Dexterity he saving was throw. To her. Yeah, he, he's had his time. <laughs> but he was just a poor alcoholic man. Dexterity. Okay. Uh, 20. Unnatural 20. Um, Diara, as you squeeze through the shelves, there's you hear the a crack of energy just rip through and echo around the shipyard. Um, and then overhead, there's a thud. And as you see Umbra slammed into uh, the shelves of lumber, they topple over and you see him buried. Uh, in the rubble. Ooh, 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 it's still half damage. <laughs> Thank you, intensive cosplay. <laughs> okay. Oh, for how this should be. So how do I ban a chance of cosplay? How do I do that? Where's this the is the second time no, in like two minutes alone. that something awful has happened and you've been like, ha ha, yes. <laughs> a chance of cosplay, you have to uh, subscribe to us now and follow us forever so you can come in. No, nope, anything we need to subscribe to down. them for that hot so, tub. 2d10 of damage. Okay, give me, I'm just gonna. Just we gonna. love you. That's beneficial ratting right a there. Chance of cosplay. Benevolent ratting. I, I want to warn a chance of cosplay because Declan's got rage in his eyes now, so he will come. He'll come and find you. It's only four. It's only four guys. <laughs> but it's the principle, okay? It's the principle. It's the principle. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I have inspiration. I should have used it for. Oh, oh but you're throw. dead now. You can use it on your death save, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. There's a cackle. And Mooney, as you skirt around invisible, and like you're still shrunk low, and there's tears streaming out of your eyes. Have you seen Umbra struck with the lightning? You see a deep cut open along this woman's face, just under her left eye, and a trickle. And you're not quite sure if it's just a shadow. It's blood. It. It's definitely blood, but it, it's dark. It's very dark. And she just laughs and she touches her face and she looks at it. And she scans the area around her and you feel her eyes lock on you, Mooney. Mooney doesn't care if she's going to run to Umbra. Run. No! Okay. Oh, no. The chase begins. A little ah! bit. Oh, no. And she holds her hand up. And she vanishes. <gasps> and the golem vanishes. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck. And you are all left standing there. Weird. Except me. We'll see you next episode. <laughs> oh my god I'm just going to oh. swing wildly everywhere get out of the way Regent <laughs> it's um, so intense we Help us a... down oh yeah it's get her it. Everyone... it's not Diara so well done, I'm going to send you all the picture because when you were saying you can use your inspiration on your death save uh, I rolled with inspiration and I'm dropping it into the chat uh, I'm dropping you into the WhatsApp. One. I rolled a oh. nat one and a nat twenty using oh. the inspiration, but it wasn't really for any any good, really, was it? So oh, wow. well, it was, you got a you got a twenty though. That was impressive. That wasn't real. We are D8 Dungeon. We are a group mm. of Irish tabletop role playing gaming enthusiasts, uh, and this is one of three shows uh, that we have currently out there at the moment, not to mention all the one-shots and other shenanigans that we get up with. This was Rise of the Forsaken. We are back in two weeks. We stream every second Monday uh, from 8pm Irish time. 
And uh, if you want to catch out our other stuff, we've Saving Grace, which is every second Thursday next week. Or actually, there's a bonus episode this Thursday. Uh, so do stick along for that very interesting thing that's okay. happening on Thursday. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we have a podcast uh, called Romancing the Dungeon that drops every second Friday. And a brand new episode is out this Friday. Oh, God, there's so much content out this week. That's oh nuts. Wow, um, we're spoiling you guys. Quick mention, if you're looking to get your hands on some wonderful tabletop role-playing game accessories Ooh. to help you stay on top of your workload as the DM or keep a track of your player's character's death saves, oh, uh, Umbra, okay. you need to get yourself a wonderful journal from the Rook and the Raven. And oh, there's Mooney. There's Mooney. There's code. Prasica. Oh, there I am. I uh, hope I don't write anything rude. <laughs> That's <laughs> good forever now. <laughs> Why am I a terrier? <laughs> um, if you use the code D8 Dungeon at the checkout, you will get 15% off your order and you can customize that journal to your heart's yeah. content. Um, thank you so much to. I was it two raids we had or three raids? Yeah, two. Thank you so Yay. much. That was that was freaking awesome. Uh, we will make sure that we give you guys, uh, folks, a follow uh, in return. That would be Yay. deadly. Um, mm-hmm. I'm Declan. I was going to like, what's the last thing to do? Oh, yeah, we should introduce those. I'm Declan. I've been your dungeon master. Uh, I've been joined this evening by James as Umbra, Eilish as Diara, Emma as Regiment, Fiona as Nolra, and Kat as Mooney. All our Twitter handles are there if you want to give any of us a follow on the social medias. Uh, come check out our Discord server. The soundest group of people that I know James has already probably shared it in chat, but the soundest group of people on the internet live in our Discord server. So if you're there, you're one of them and you're sound and we love you. Um, we will be back in two weeks' time. We'll see you then. Bye. Wait, who are we raiding? We got anyone good to raid? Oh, yes. Let's so send it along. Umbra's corpse. Who are we raiding? <laughs> oh. What does that even mean? What does you that even mean? You've got good stuff to take. I'm going to go no, over raid Umbra's my, corpse and just My leg best it. stuff got nicked. Um, <laughs> um, there's chaotic neutral games. They're streaming right now. You. All one word. Let's go. Uh, all one word. Chaotic neutral games. Yeah. Boom. We're doing it, everybody. Okay. Thank you all so much. Thanks, everyone. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. Happy Monday, Tuesday, bye. whatever Monday? day it is. What day is it?